Bok B. On the team, don't play games. Championship rings need champagne. Uh, Babylon can't stop this campaign. campaign. Rampage, cause I know why the heathen rage. Cause the guys be bringing it out. We bringing this it kingdom, out. we bringing it down. Yeah. Lost sheep, we'd have been found. Uh, Wait until we get a crown. Uh, crown talk. Yeah. Just that crown talk. Yeah. Me or my don't want to be like Nino Brown now. Uh, cause this that king talk. Uh, Who? Real life king talk. Who? Like Solomon, I see things clearly like a greenhouse. The wordplay can't get colorful. The scripture's cutting you the butter too. Not to mention we a living legend. Don't know what to do when a myth is standing right in front of you. You better watch and just take notes. The father sent the flood to the rainbow. But his son coming back with fire. So it ain't gonna be no more scapegoats. Let me tell you what the prophecy. Unparalleled with the prophecies. Stopping Fritz, bodies in the street. My people property in this monopoly. Call it America. Where the dreams come true. When nightmares and the demons come to the side of my agenda, I don't give a damn if you offended. Cause this the nation of abominations. Project babies, it's a situation. Homeless in the cold, body shaking. Curses on me and I'm overtaking. Where does it stop? When does it end? When we let go of the sin. I'm doing this with my can. Pass me the mic, I'm going in, in. Made the pyramids out in Giza. Evicted from the land, they seized it. Came on a boat, no visa. Pack sardines in a freezer. Serve false guys like Caesar. Now it's some sons like Lisa. Never knew it was all for a reason. Cause we the Israelites just like Jesus. We the only team don't play games. Championship brains need champagne. Babylon can't stop this campaign. Rampage, cause I know why the heathen rage. Cause the guys be bringing it out. This kingdom we bringing it down. Lost sheep, we'd have been found. Wait until we get a crown. Crown me, gon' crown me. Oppressing nothing to the rifle king. Black and common like Solomon. Gold play the grill shine in. Shining bright for your eyes to see. Moving righteously and yeah, quietly. Your path is lies, they reminded me of prophecy. Jeremiah 23. The world about to see that the king is back. With the milk of the word, no similac. The 12 tribes come to cast a check. Recompense set the heathen's neck. Chain swinging from the king's neck. The earth is mine, show me respect. Quick on my feet like Reggie White. They gon' build my walls with chrysolite. Sapphire. Fire and amethyst. This kingdom can't even be imagined. Nah. Neither enter into the heart of men, uh-huh. nor can they soul fathom nope. what God got for the Prince of Power. Prince of power. Babylon receive a fire shower, fire set to be destroyed in an hour. Every face looking real sour. Real I'm coming out with the forces of the Gentiles. Yeah, that's for that's me. Fine. Yeah, bling bling is around my neck as I go up for the eyes to see. Woo. Great is the judgment of those nations that despise your people and hate it. Thee. Babylon thee. has fallen. Here's the wailing and gnashing of teeth. Ah. May the pyramids out in a victim from the land, they seized it. Came on a boat, no visa. Packed sardines in a freezer. Surf calls God like Caesar. Now it's him son like Lisa. Never knew it was all for a reason. Cause we the Israelites just like Jesus. We the only team don't play games. Championship reigns need champagne. Babylon can't stop this campaign. Rampage, cause I know why the heathen rage. Cause the guys be bringing it out. This kingdom be bringing it down. Lost sheep, we'd have been found. Wait until we get a crown. Ah. Adonijah Sons of Thunder so Caleb special, special. Another body slain in the street mm. And we been needing change, needing peace mm. We done, we can't take it no further Heard the angels cry and they scream murder, murder Heard the angels cry and they scream murder, murder Oh, you hear them angels crying Their body shall be laid in the streets yeah. Got a knee yeah. on a neck yeah. Got us down yeah. on the concrete yeah. Land been polluted and it's looking all filthy what? Shoot us what? down and they hold what? themselves what? not guilty what? Our justice at the end of a musket uh, But these nations to uh, the Lord like uh, a drop of a bucket uh, uh, Enemies uh, of God can't, can't never be trusted Be right. upright right. when everyone That's around right. me corrupted right. But my right. salvation surely coming soon what? Like after what? a wedding day what? comes a hundred Room. Think the Bible, fairy tales and cartoons uh, The Christ coming uh, back with uh, hurricanes and uh, typhoons uh, Our people need healing that spiritual uh, Keep God laws, change uh, yourself, that's a miracle uh, Most high pop trunk, open up the arsenal that's right. Work it for the Lord with right. works, that's, that's right. remarkable that's right. Another body slain in the street mm-hmm. And we've been needing change, needing peace mm-hmm. 
We dying, we can't take it no further. Heard the angels cry and they scream murder, murder. Heard the angels cry and they scream murder, murder. Yeah. Oh, you hear them angels crying? The angels got murder on their mind. We in the trap, domesticated. Water of affliction, the dentist and never duplicated. Sin fabricated. I was a menace with that Glock folded. Ain't got no love for my brother. He better pull before me. The blood crying from the soil. Smell the heat from the coil. All I see is red when my blood begins to boil. Hey, now they about to know it's real. When my mind on my money, ain't nothing to rob and steal. Ain't nothing to pack the steel. Ain't nothing to plot a kill. Hey, my mama saying that I need to go to church before these niggas retaliate and leave me dead in a hearse little do she know i bought this gun with the money i stole out of purse real wretched change when i heard the prophets real message an israelite thanking y'all for repentance i learned my lesson now i'm praying that you listen i'm gone another body slain in the street mm -hmm. and we've been needing change needing peace mm -hmm. we dying we can't take it no further heard the angels cry and they scream murder Murder, heard the angels cry and they scream murder, murder. Oh, you hear them angels crying. Demons surround me cause they want my soul, they all feeding. Feedin'. My people, they can't see it's a trick, they all sleeping. Sleepin'. These trials come and check my faith, I'm all down. Yeah. Let me live to the end, my lord, I need that crown. Why I feel like they shooting at me. Uh -huh. I ain't the same cat I used to be. Nope. I ain't running the streets, I just want to find peace. peace. So I can teach my people and try to reach the brothers that I can reach. Really need a time out, but I gotta keep pushing. Push Their bodies on the curb, close my eyes and keep from Look at God, save me from my sins, I don't want bad news uh -uh. Rulership for the Jews, that's a dream come true My okay. people need hope, while they chilling on the corner Strung out old dope, use a king, use a God God never tempted you, you just tempt yourself Why you trying to play God, you just play yourself Death to Esau Another body slain in the street, mm -hmm. And we been needing change, needing peace, mm -hmm. We dying, we can't take it no further Heard the angels cry and they scream murder Murder, heard the angels cry and they scream murder, murder. Oh, you hear them angels crying. Yeah. Have you meditated on what's gonna happen if we endure to the end? We are literally just gonna yeah. vanish and be gone in chariots. Hocus pocus, them boys, where they went at? Took them up in the sky, how they do that? People not to quit. We the real Jews and the mothers counterfeits. Prophecy fitters like fresh outfits. Looking up and ready for that last trumpet. See the fire red zeal in his eyes and his prophets. Chairs coming down, your army can't even stop it. Whirlwind, have you spinning around feeling nauseous. Chucking up the deuces in the air like pathogens. Mad cause they watching us. Face all red cause they losing all their oxygen. Big black angels at the gate steady stopping them. The kingdom is not for them. The Lord ain't die for them. Why you even cry for them? Hocus pocus, the wicked in a day dream. They painted their likeness, drop the smoke screen. I hate the love, but they gave me protein. I'm walking with giants, yeah, you never seen. Hocus pocus, them boys, where they went at? Took them up in the sky, how they do that? They just vanish, a black man just cracked the sky now You can panic, you robbed me of my culture with no problem And now you're about to die here like Dennis Rodman I told you, thought I told you in Obadiah That you don't want no beef like empanadas I've been here, yep I've been here If he got a yellow thin here, he can't come in here You don't even got no melanin, you need some skincare I vote Christ for president, don't bring your sin here. I'm on a different element, my people must read. You heathens just suck, my people suck seed. Hocus pocus, the wicked in a day dream. They painted their likeness, dropped the small screen. I ate the love, but they gave me protein. I'm walking with giants, yeah, you never seen. Hocus pocus, them boys, where they went at? Took them up in the sky, how they do that?
Trying to give it to God Son waiting at the crib for me now I gotta be there for him and provide Bring your trip, don't wanna see me alive So I gotta keep the stick when I'm riding Don't some telling me, repeating, I'm trying But how I'ma win with the sin in my mind No, I'm chosen, I can feel it inside But how I'm supposed to leave my niggas behind Can't help but admit that I'm dealing with pride I know they gon' say that I switched and I'm high Know how I feel, need to quit with that line I told them if they don't repent, they gon' die Every time I pull a script, they look me in my eye And say I ain't really, they got it Telling me I ain't never seen a good thing 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 Come out of Nazareth Come out of Nazareth Come out of Nazareth I ain't never seen a good thing I ain't never seen a good thing I ain't never seen a good thing. I ain't never seen a good thing. Come out of Nazareth. Come out of Nazareth. Come out of Nazareth. Where that life it be grimy. I got that project life all up inside me. Got me a couple of goons that's behind me. I stayed on the block, you knew just where to find me. If it's for God, I was quick to remind him. You know exactly what we supplying. We're slanging it happily until we die and avoid you in accident. It's best you ain't try. If it's that gutter, I called it that life. Didn't give a damn about paying the piper. Came from the dark, had to switch to that light. Learned me some laws, had to switch up the side. Now I'm switch, only slanging them scripts. Sipping milk, come and get you a fix. Getting built, never waving no tilt. Serving knowledge. Come and get you a meal. I ain't never seen a good thing. 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 Come out of Nazareth. Come out of Nazareth. Come out of Nazareth. I ain't never seen a good thing. 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 Come out of Nazareth. Come out of Nazareth. We went from selling drugs on the block to teaching our people things they forgot. Growing up, I ain't have a lot. Now I found out the world is mine. Now I found out that I'm the one. That good things never came from. In the streets where it's no love. From the concrete to Rose Grove. I was going down the wrong path. Knew the trap was a real trap. And you're witnessing the aftermath. This is where it all happens at. Trials gave me a cold heart. Now I found me a new star. That's only right, I do my part. That's a real thing too far. I ain't never seen a good thing. 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 Come out of Nazareth. Come out of Nazareth. Come out of Nazareth. I ain't never seen a good thing. 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 Come out of Nazareth. Come out of Nazareth. Come out of Nazareth. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Ah. Oh no, I won't cap. No, I can't do this by myself. I thought I did, but when I found out about this truth, I knew myself. Like oh my lord, when we got enemies, thinking we jealous, we tell them we blessed. Like oh my god. I'm not really about no stress. I can't let you block my shine, no. I can't let you block my blessing. You know we tough like Neil. Dead weight getting dropped off that keto. Either Mike man getting mad, looking sad, can't stand because the ship going down torpedo. And, and no, I can't stop for a minute. You know that I'm still on my job. I'm still on my job. And I know they want me to fail, but yeah, I'm still going hard. Still going hard. And I don't complain about the hand I was dead. I'm just playing my card. 
And even though life is good crazy at times, we don't cry, we just stick up our praises to God. Tell me that's fake. Keep the law just to be safe. Twelve tribes lead we great. Sit in my faith. All praise to the most high. He chose us, tell him we straight. So eat a mice winning that set tie. Anything they do ain't gonna backfire. My people making sure we don't backslide. That's right, that's why. Oh no, I won't cap, no, I can't do this by myself. I thought I did, but when I found out about this truth, I knew myself. Like, oh my lord, when we got enemies, thinking we jealous, we tell them we blessed. Like, oh my god, since we got enemies, thinking we jealous, please tell them we next, yeah. Tell them we up, yeah, yeah. Tell them we blessed, tell them we blessed, tell them we up, yeah, yeah. Tell them we next, tell them we next. We got this here, no chillin', we feelin', we don't need no help. Cause we got God, we got love, we got jobs, we work hard, and work hard for God. All I know for his laws ain't wrong. Even if I want or I don't wanna do them. When I say that we got next, it's a fact, I can prove it. Don't be like Nike and try me and just do it. Uh uh. Second, that's a six and nine sound to me like music. And I pray to God that we gon' rise. I hope that I'm included. I know Babylon polluted. New kingdom is Jerusalem. Jesus Christ gon' be our future. And the white man not gon' rule us. We gon' trade places, swap bros. Truth, I would not be with my bros. Believe it to receive it, you gotta know. Yeah, we up next, we gon' flex, watch me, yeah. Oh no, I won't cap, no, I can't do this by myself. I thought I did, but when I found out about this truth, I knew myself. Like, oh my lord, when we got enemies, thinking we jealous, we tell them we blessed. Like, oh my god, you just got enemies, thinking we jealous, please tell them we next, yeah. Tell them we up, yeah, yeah. Tell them we blessed, tell them we blessed, tell them we up, yeah, yeah. Tell them we next, tell them we next. We got this here, no chillin', we feelin', we don't need no help. Cause we got God, we got love, we got jobs, we work hard. Who have saved us and called us with an holy calling. See that? Who have saved us and called us with an holy calling. Some of y'all talking about you want to call from the mayor so you can go visit the mayor. You want to call from the president so you can go see Obama. Are you kidding me? You got the highest calling on earth. God is calling you. I had to put. Let's pray until something happens. In the meantime, I'm going to keep God command. Joy to the Father, love for the Son. Hold fast to what I have until He comes. Push, push. I had to, I had to push, push. I had to, I had to push, push. Let's pray until something happens. In the meantime, I'ma keep God's commandments. Push. Go ahead and accept the fate. Some of y'all gon' reprobate. Yeah. Some of y'all just can't relate. Box thin like a featherweight. The prophet's back here to dominate. Eat cold cuts on the Sabbath day. Yeah. Restitution is right on time. You know the most high, he ain't never late. Life. Yeah, we live this camp life. Show up in your hood with this good. Yeah, my camp life. This camp life. Camp life. Yeah, we live this camp life. Yeah, it's do it down, down the ride, but it's camp life. This camp life. This camp life. Yeah, we live this camp life. Yeah, we put our lives on the line, but it's camp life. This camp life. This camp life. Yeah, we live this camp life. Yeah, we prophesy 365, but it's camp life. This camp life. Squad up, squad up, squad up, squad up, squad up, squad up. You know. 
know we came to ride. All on your block, don't care about the ops. This truth is do or die. Come crown the kings and watch how we bleed. We here 365. While you and your dreams, we on the scene, saving our people's lives. Oh. What a time to be alive when it's going down. I got both eyes on the same prize. If you're trying to build, then it's hammer time. Nigga, lava with the mama, no COVID. Different scriptures, you can call it a rover. Can't see it, then you blind like Toby. Pass over with a shit, but we go to this over. I'm proper, you fake. You don't do nothing, you say. All day searching our pace. Looking for sin. Why is you hate? We in the hood, all in their face. Purple and gold, we reign it. Put some respect on our name, we profit. You are novice, your doctrine demolished. Stop it. Ask the apostles, watch us. Uh. Take a look on the same page in our favorite book. 400 prophets with the same doctor. Put it out my pocket, had your block shook. We'll read it like Officer Liam. Covered in spots, got for run like a cheetah. Stricken the scripts, seven seconds can't beat them. More than a weapon, that Bible is lethal. They bugger like Beatles. Uh. Camp life. Yeah, we live this camp life. Show up in your hood with this good. Yeah, my camp might. This camp life. Camp life. Yeah, we live this camp life. Yeah, it's do or down, down the ride. But it's camp life. This camp life. This camp life. Yeah, we live this camp life. I swore, yeah, we coming down your street. Spiritual war, bring that fire, gon' feel that heat. Squad up, squad up on them corners, can't be discreet can't be with it. Discreet Shoot out scriptures it. like a gun, bullets, we speak with it. it. The words of God is our weapon, we get deep off in it. Confound the soul called Christian. Wise of the devil, we kill it. Uh. Armor up, turn down the doctrines of the word, the spirit, she wicked. Post it up all day and night, gathering up the tribes of Israel. Step up to us, then you get this word. No, we don't fight, but feelings get hurt. We'll cut you up, slashing you with this word. Your spirit got cooked because the scriptures you heard. We show you love, you think it's hate. If you don't repent, you must meet your fate. No, the Bible ain't up for debate. No sugar coating, I'm telling you straight. We just a messenger. You try to shoot us down with the docks of fire, then you fail. Did you not know that nothing you do to the prophets of God? No, it won't prevail. Coming down strong and loud on them coons. I never thought we're rising up soon. The other nation posted up with their goons. So what's about to happen next? Stay tuned. With this camp life, camp life, that's right, that's right. With this camp life, camp life, that's right, that's right. With this camp life, yeah, we live this camp life. Show up in your hood with this good, yeah, my camp life, this camp life, camp life. Yeah, we live this camp life, yeah, it's do it down, down the road. They don't love us, no they don't love us They don't love us, no they don't love us They don't love us, somebody tell them wake up Wake up, wake up Somebody tell them wake up Wake up, wake up Somebody tell them wake up They don't love us, no they don't love us They don't love us, no they don't love us They don't love us, no they don't love us They don't love us Somebody tell them wake up Wake up, wake up Somebody tell them wake up Wake up, wake up Somebody tell them wake up They don't love us, no they don't love us They don't love us, no they don't love us They don't love us, no they don't Shalom, shalom, most high Christ bless Yes sir Welcome to another edition of Escaping the Plantation 2.0 yeah, it's going down today, man. We got a special guest in the house. Yes, All sir. praise to the Most High. Very, very happy to be able to have this brother with us. One of my big brothers in the truth. So I'll pray to the Most High. But with that being said, we're going to get go ahead and pop it off. I'm Captain Get a Light to my right. Hey, it's Captain, Captain Yadin. Is, is your mic on? Hey, Shalom, Most High, Christ bless. I'm Captain Yadin. All <laughs> praise. Yes, sir. All right, to my left, who we got? Officers arrive. All praise. My far right. 
I was a hose down. And to my far left, who gonna be reading? Soldier John. All praise. Hey, so you know what it is, man. We got the mighty captain of Den in the building. That's right. IUIC Memphis. Where you look, at, look, bro? Look here, look here, look here. <laughs> IUIC Memphis, soon to be IUIC Birmingham. All praise. <laughs> so it's going down in this thing, man. All praise yes, to the most high. Sir. So look, hey, we're going to go ahead and jump in. Let's jump into it, man. Give me that first scripture. You know what I want. Psalms chapter 71, the name of the lesson today, the Bible versus Freemasonry and the Masonic Temple. Yes, sir. We're going to dive into it. We're going to see what the Word of God has to say regarding this particular topic. Wait, now, wait a minute now. Yeah. How are you going to talk against Freemasonry? Because I heard that IUIC was a bunch of Freemasons. Whoa. What? Mm. Wait a Ooh. minute. Oh, my God. Where you at? I mean, there's many videos on the Internet talking about this. So, wait a minute. So, you're telling me that we finna debunk something that people are lying and saying that we're a part of. You mean to tell me you didn't know you was a Freemason? I didn't know that. I hadn't got the memo, because <laughs> I'm broke. You must not be high, you must not be high enough up. I must not. I guess not. You I'm... must be 34, 32. Right. <laughs> you ain't Damn. 33. I ain't got no magic coin, nor have I been on the purple plane. All right, all right. Disclaimer, everybody, <laughs> keep your hands down. Don't move your hands crazy, because if you do, you know, you might activate, you know, one of the Mason gods or something. <laughs> oh, my God. Apparently. Hey, so it's going down today, man. I'm excited about this one, man. Like I said, the Bible versus Freemasonry and the Masonic Temple. So we're going to start off real quick with the book of Psalms, chapter 71. You know our signature scripture, verse 2. The book of Psalms, chapter 71 and verse 2. Go ahead. Deliver me in thy righteousness and cause me to escape. So that's our prayer. We ask the Lord to deliver us in his righteousness. We know it ain't us. He gave us the commandments. He gave us the blood of his son, Jesus Christ. We're going to keep that. In faith in his son, and Lord's where the most high is going to cause us to escape. Escape what? The plantation. Guess what? Your job, a plantation. Christianity is a plantation. Egyptology. Freemasonry. The Lodge. <laughs> the Elks Club. That's what they call it. The Elks. Right. Back where I'm from. They call that up there in Jazzu. Y'all got, got, got the Shriners. The Shriners. We got, that's Shriners all the stuff. plantation. Guess what? You. That's a branch of what your slave master started, and he gave you the crumbs. That's exactly what that is. So that is the plan. So we're asking the Lord to cause us to escape. Go ahead. Incline thine ear unto me. Read. And save me. So, Lord, we ask that you send your son, Jesus Christ, to save your children from the oppression and from the plantation that we've been forced to serve before our disobedience. All right? That's so, right. Let's get into this, man. If we could pull up the very first definition of Freemasonry, let's kind of just delve into what we're dealing with today because it's going to be very interesting as the show goes on. And as we start to highlight some of the rituals and some of the practices and even some of the deities, right? The grand architect into what they call the it. The grand architect of the universe. Of what wow. They so we're going to delve into all that today. We're going to see if that lines up with the Bible. All right? So let's read that, uh, soldier. Freemasonry. Yeah, start right there. Freemasonry. Freemasonry or masonry consists of fraternal organizations that trace their origins to the local guilds of stone masons that from the end of the 13th century regulated the qualifications of stonemasons and their interactions with authorities and clients. Freemasonry has been the subject of numerous conspiracy theories throughout the years. Mm. Modern Freemasonry broadly consists of two main recognition groups. All right, let's see what those two main groups are. So as you can see, it has been a part of numerous conspiracy th theories throughout the years. Yeah, everybody always say that. You remember when you was watching these Illuminati videos before you came in the truth? You was always trying to figure out what, 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 who is behind the Illuminati? Is it the Freemasons? Are they behind the music industry? Are they behind the Jews? Are they behind who own all the clubs and all these various different um, social media apps and so on and so forth? So we're going to delve into that today. Right. So it's, it, it uh, consists of two main recognition groups. All right. Go ahead. Regular Freemasonry insists that a volume of scripture be open in a working lodge, mm. that every member profess belief in a supreme being. Stop. I got an issue with that. Hold up. Because Hold it says up. regular Freemasonry insists that a volume of scripture be open in a working lodge. That every member profess belief in a supreme being. I'm confused. The Bible don't say that. The Bible don't say you can believe in what you want to believe in. So how you got the scriptures open in there, but you can believe in any supreme being that you want to believe in and is not the God of the Bible. I'm confused about that. It's that, it's that trap. 
You know, it's that trap. They know most of us was raised in Christianity mm. and things like that. So they use that to bring in our people to uh, get them to fa fall into that uh, secret society and stuff they were trying to be. Mm. That's all it was, was a trap. That's exactly what it is. Because black folk ignorant and we don't read. So we say, oh, God is in that? Oh, the Bible's open. It got to be true because the Bible's open. You know the Klan used the Bible. Right. Go ahead. Go ahead. That, that no, man. no women be admitted. And that the discussion of religion and politics be banned. Wait a minute. <laughs> How what? the Bible open in there? You believe in a supreme being, but you can't discuss religion. Huh? That's, that's, that's three freaking contradictions in that one little description of regular Freemasonry. And it's going to get worse. So what's the second branch? Continental Freemasonry. All right. Consists of the jurisdictions. Go up for us. We can't, we can't see the bottom. Scroll up. There we go. Continental Freemasonry consists of the jurisdictions that have removed some or all of these restrictions. Mm, okay. The basic local organizational unit of Freemasonry is the lodge. We've all heard of that. Go ahead. These private lodges are usually supervised at the regional level. Okay. Usually coterminous with the state, province, or national border. By a Grand Lodge or Grand Orient. Mm. There is no international, worldwide Grand Lodge that supervises all of Freemasonry. So basically, they don't have a they don't have a one source of structure. Like we got the Bible, this is our one source, and we all branch out from it. The scripture saying first Corinthians, we all say the same thing, there'd be no divisions. So there's divisions amongst this because they don't have one uh what's that set of ordinances that they all adhere to. Right in some way, shape, or form, especially black folks. We know black people don't. Go ahead. Each Grand Lodge is independent, and they do not necessarily recognize each other as being legitimate. Wait, what the hell? I'm confused. Huh? It's, it's just like Christianity, right? <laughs> you got the Baptists, right? right? Pentecostal, That's Catholic, right. all those different things. It's the same thing, the same confusion. Right. So in other words, you can do what the hell you want to do in your lodge. Yeah. Basically. That's Christianity. That's exactly what Cap said. Go ahead, Austin. Right. If I and if I could, um, like the PHA, the one a lot of the so-called blacks is in, a lot of the the uh, Edomite ones, they don't even recognize that as being real Freemasonry. Oh, Damn. so oh, oh, so y'all Negroes ain't real Freemasons. They walking around with coats Bruh. and hats and shoes and tags on their cars, and the so-called white man don't even look at them as brothers. You know, it's the same thing. Catholicism. Those. Archbishops and bishops that be in, in Catholicism, the black ones are not considered to be on the level as the Edomite ones, even if the black one has been serving on the Catholic board longer. Bring it up. That's almost sound like your job. You work all these hours, and then you raise up the little Edomite that come in at 19, and he become your boss Damn. at 22. Hey, that's that's just like the Mormons. Same hmm. thing with the Mormons. They, yep. they put it out that we are cursed people, but now they started bringing black people into their church but they really don't recognize the black leaders in that church. The same thing. So you ain't nobody, Negro. It's the plantation. <laughs> it's it's the, different forms of the plantation. That's all it is. Different branches of the plantation. So I, I, um, I, I want to come back to this, but I want to delve into something scripturally real quick. Give me the book of Job chapter 9 and verse 24. Because this was started by Edomites. The 13th century, that's the end, of the, the end of the 13th century would be the 14th century for us, right? I mean, the 1400s. Right. I always get it confused. It's always 13th century, but that means the 1400s, right? Yes. Am I wrong? That's right. So in the 1400s, who came into power? The so-called white man, right? The so-called white man came into power in the 1450s. Pope Alexander VI of Rome. You had the various different, um, the, the kings, of, the kings of, the, of Portugal. You had the kings of Spain. Uh, Queen, Elis uh, Queen um, Isabella, King Ferdinand, all these things. So Esau came into power during this time, or back into power during this time, after the fall of the uh, Dark Ages, right? The black men that ruled during that time. So I want to delve into that. Give me Job 9. Let's deal with that first. The book and, of Job. And cap, uh, officers, dive into this. We're going to use the Bible to tear this thing down today. Read that. The book of Job, chapter 9 and verse 24. Go ahead. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. So the Bible says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Who is the wicked? We got to establish that because we may have some people that have never watched IUIC. They don't know what we teach. They don't know what we're about. So they might want to know, okay, well, brothers, who is the wicked? Who are these people that you say the earth is given into the hand to, the hand of? Guess what? You know. 
you're just too naive or either you have not been taught properly scripture, so you don't know who to point the finger at. But the Bible's going to tell you who the, earth, who the earth is given to, who is the wicked. Read that for me. The book of Malachi, chapter 1 and verse 4. Uh -huh. Whereas Edom saith. So whereas Edom saith. Edom. Edom. That's the children of Esau, right? Esau today is known as the so-called Caucasian race. The so-called white man is Edom. Go ahead. We are impoverished. So during the dark ages that we just mentioned, he was impoverished. Go ahead. But we will return and build the desolate place. And in the 1400s, he had what was called the Renaissance era. And when he came into power, he, he built the desolate places. Right? Go ahead. Thus said the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down. Come on. And they shall call them the border of wickedness. What they call Esau? The border of wickedness. The so-called white man is the border of wickedness. Meaning what? All wickedness starts and ends with him. He's behind all evil. Go ahead. And the people against whom the Lord hath indignation forever. And God said he has a personal vendetta, a personal problem with this particular race. So go back to Job. Read 924 again. You the book of Job. Go ahead, Austin. Real quick, you, can't, uh, you can't jump over that. How long does he say he have a problem with him? Uh -oh. They say he had a problem with him for a couple of weeks, a <laughs> month, 10 year period, then everything gonna be all good. How long the most high God say he got a problem with him? And the people against whom the Lord hath indignation forever. Righteous hatred forever. Mm. Forever. It ain't no saving him. Wow. So the Lord said, so I'm glad Caps brought that out. Because, you know, you got a lot of Christians that watch us that say, oh, no, they could be saved. God said he got a problem with them forever. That's Take that right. up with God. All right? So go back to 924 of Job. Let's, Because I'm glad uh, Cap just pulled it out. Let's go to Job 924 one more time. The Read book of Job, chapter 9 and verse 24. Go ahead. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. The Bible said the earth given into the hand of the Edomites. The Edomites, Esau, they are the border of wickedness. They are the people whom God has indignation against forever. God got a problem with this race. So now, we got to ask ourselves a question. God said he going to give the earth into the hand of the wicked. So that means everything that they've brought forth on the planet earth has an evil intent. Everything that they have done on the planet earth and has built has had some sort of evil intent behind it. Keep reading. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. So he covered the faces of the judges thereof. Go ahead. If not. If not. Where and who is he? The Bible says, if it ain't him, show me who the wicked is. Who changed the image of Christ to a Caucasian image? So-called white man. You know what? Who changed the image of King James to a so-called white man? Because you know you got Negroes and even Edomites that say King James was a white man. But oh, when you look down the fool. time period he lived, it says that no, King James was of the tribe of Judah. That's right. King, King James. You know that they tell us to this day that Shakespeare is a white man. Ha! But when you look at the time period in which Shakespeare lived, and during his time they called his genre of music soul music of the 1300s, you got to ask yourself, why would they call Beethoven and um, Shakespeare's music and writings the soul music of that time? Cal, what you doing? <laughs> You trying to get the 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 feed <laughs> taken down or something? You trying to get the electricity cut off? What you doing? <laughs> I thought we was talking about the Masons. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta bring I gotta bring it all the way out because this the border of wickedness. You understand? That's right. Everything that they put out in the earth has an evil intent. You have something you want to bring out on that cat real quick? Go ahead. Right, go ahead. Keep going. All right. Give me the secrets of Skull and Bones Secret Society. The Secrets of Skull and Bone Secret Society is a YouTube video. I want to pull it up because I remember in college, I'm not going to say what college, but there was a president of that college. He was an active member in the Skull and Bones Society. And I remember I was smoking weed and thinking about all this deep stuff. Like, oh, man, the dude that run out of university, oh, my God, he's in the Skull and Bones. Oh, my God, that's a secret society. We're part of the Illuminati for playing here. <laughs> <laughs> The devil. But he was he was literally a part of this group. He still is an active member, right? So let's look into it real quick. What is the Skull and Bone Society? What exactly is that? Pull it up. On October 9th, 1701, Yale University was founded with the mission to prepare youth for public employment, both in church and civil state. Pause it. 
Remember the date, 1701. Well, were black people in slavery. Just remember that. Go ahead. But Yale's earliest origins begin in the 1640s with a group of ministers who simply wanted to establish the theocracy in a college to educate its leaders. For a university with such humble, churchly beginnings, it's shocking then that one of their oldest secret society's initiation rituals historically was rumored to include sharing the intimate details of one's full sexual history. What? Shrouded in secrecy, this is everything we've dug up on Skull and Bones. Mm. Founded in 1832, Skull and Bones is the oldest of Yale's many secret societies. Historically, admission is reserved for senior Yale undergraduates. Every year in the spring, 15 new members from the junior class are offered membership on what is often called Tap Night. A custom aptly named, as the new member is said to be notified of their admittance when a current member ritually claps them on the shoulder. Skull and Bones members are known to take an oath of secrecy, so their rituals and intricacies are highly guarded despite the fame of their members. One thing we do know is the physical location of the Skull and Bones clubhouse and headquarters. The endless building, simply known as The Tomb, is housed in a large brownstone located at 64 High Street in New Haven, Connecticut. To preserve confidentiality, non-members are prohibited from entering. But they ain't a cult, though. The macabre decor of the club. They not a cult, but we a cult. Now, ah! notice, notice as this video goes on, it talks about the various different rituals and how it said basically 15 um, rising seniors at the end of their junior year, they would be hand-selected. Now, Yale is a huge university. So these 15 members had to be doing something during that time. They had to show... Um, some type of level of loyalty, academic excellence, come from a certain family, whatever the case may be, in order to get to this level where they were chosen. Now it's going to show up what, what the inside of the tomb looks like, or what, what the tomb was basically where they meet at, right? It's right. their meeting place. The headquarters. the headquarters. They call it the tomb. Now watch what's inside the tomb. Go ahead. Because see, this is of God. House is well suited to Skull and Bone's distinctively ghoulish spirit. The tomb is said to be adorned with skeletons, skulls, and other dark works of art. There is a popular rumor that the stolen skull of the Apache leader Geronimo is a relic that is housed within the tomb's cadaverous walls. In 2009, Geronimo's descendants attempted to sue the organization to get the skull returned to them. Wait, 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 I'm sorry, I gotta, I gotta ask. So, this organization could possibly have the skull of one of the Gadites, Geronimo. Geronimo. So, <sighs> now look, oh. this ain't too far fetched because they used to take the skin of uh, Negroes and mm. make lamps and wallets and things like that. So for them to have a skull of, uh, of a Gadite Geronimo in one of their secret societies, that that sounds like normal if you think about uh, the Edomites of the day. Damn, that's an everyday thing. That's an everyday thing. Wow. So. This his skull is apparently. Like, I bet his skull is one of the main ones you see when you first come in. Because remember, it said that his, his ancestors tried to sue, and the white man said, "Shut that down." <laughs> I'm in the skull and bone. Yeah, I like that skull. We're gonna leave it right where it's at, Negro. Go ahead. Successful. Portraits of its distinguished members line the walls of the tomb as well. Portraits that might feature such esteemed bonesmen like former presidents George W. Bush, mm. George H. W. Bush, and William Howard Taft, as well as the father of American football and the founder of the NCAA, Walter Camp, wow. the man who helped create the Hubble telescope, Lyman Spitzer, Time Magazine's founder Henry Luce, Supreme Court Justice Potter Stewart, former Secretary of State and Senator John Kerry, the so-called richest man in private equity, with a personal net worth currently valued at $15.7 billion, Stephen A. Schwartzman, political journalist and author Dana Milbank. Am I tripping? And the young... Are these not some of the most influential people in what gets done in America? Mm -hmm. Laws that are passed? Presidents of the United States? Now, wasn't George Bush the, the son, George W. Bush, wasn't he the president when Katrina went down? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And he denied black people from getting certain uh, liberties, Freedom. certain grants to rebuild their areas. Some of those places are still distraught at this particular time. Took them three days to get water down there. Wow. So, so I'm, I'm just trying to get you to, to start to see 
the evil behind these societies, and we're going to branch it over into black people <laughs> and how we are now uh, eating the crumbs from the master's table, and, and for lack of a better term, for this particular organization and all these organizations. Go ahead. Previous member of President Obama's cabinet, economist Austin Goolsbee. If you're noticing a pattern among the members of Skull and Bones, that's because while Yale has admitted women since 1969, females were not granted membership into Skull and Bones until 1992, 160 years after the club's founding. For some time, Skull and Bones was apparently losing some of their top candidates because the organization was seen as regressive and sexist. As more women, people of color, and LGBTQ members joined the organization, mm. the old boys club rituals had to adapt. However, the intricacies of how Skull and Bones has evolved to become a more inclusive space for new members remains largely as secretive as the very rituals themselves. One's membership into Skull and Bones even reaches beyond the grave, as new initiates reportedly agree to leave a part of their estate to the club. Bam. That's how they However, stay, in that's return, how they stay it is said that the club ensures a policy and a promise of their lifelong financial stability. And with such an affluent list of members, it's hard to find a bone to pick with such a guarantee. That's heavy. So, what we got from that is this. The origin of these so-called, quote-unquote, evil societies have now infiltrated in the way that America is run, in the way that it's shaped. We know that America could not be founded but on one principal thing, slavery. That's so right. all of these organizations, because you know you got black men that fight for these organizations, black women as well. You got the Eastern Star. That's, that's black women, right? Black women are involved in the Eastern Star. So you got all these origins branched from these men gaining wealth from slavery. Because that's where the wealth come from. You understand? So all of them have a hand in that in one way or another. Get Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12. Let's read that. I'm going to show you something, because when you read the Bible, the Apostle Paul, in, in various uh, parts of his um, letters, he gives us some insight on who was ruling during that time. We know who was ruling during the Apostle Paul's time. Rome. Rome. Who was Rome? White folk. White people. What did it say? White people? White people. <laughs> How you spell it? W-Y-P-I-P-O? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> White people. Go ahead. <laughs> The book of Ephesians, chapter 6 and verse 12. Go ahead. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Go ahead. But against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, mm. against spiritual wickedness in high places. So we, we like Cap just brought out, we determined that George W. Bush had a lot of evil intent during the time of Katrina, correct? He was a part of this particular Group now, his father. I forgot what his father did. Cap, you remember I, his daddy? I, I wasn't really too far. I wasn't uh, caring he, about he that. He dealt then. with a lot of stuff with the um, I know the Iran Contra scandal, mm. uh, something we uh, we getting uh, crack into our neighborhoods and stuff like that. Um, the CIA, all kinds of different stuff like that. Uh, with the destruction of our communities back in the right. 80s at that time, he was instrumental in a lot of even when before he was the president, I think he was the vice president. Um, I could be wrong for, ah, oh man. And the drug dealers talk about it all the time in their rap songs. Damn. What not, is not Nixon. Um, I can't think about it. It'll come back to you. Yeah, it'll come back. I'll pray to the most high. So he, so he wicked as hell, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's super wicked. <laughs> he wicked. He taught his son to be wicked, and they both branched from this particular, um, I want to say fraternity, because that's really what it, it, it is. It's a fraternity, right? It's a fraternity or a brotherhood of influential, rich Edomites that have evil intent and that have been given some type of power on the earth to do manners of evil towards the children of Israel. Let me tell you something. Reagan. Reagan. That's Reagan. who it was? That's okay, it was. Ronald Reagan. Yeah. Okay, so he was Reagan's vice president. Yes. See that? So he was behind the whole crack epidemic. He was in that, all involved in all that, correct? Because correct? Yes, that's sir. what Reagan was ruling. Oh, I said ruling. That way you might well say he's a ruler. But president during that time. So what we're going over in Scripture Paul is letting us know, till this day, we still fighting against those same spiritual wickedness in high places. It's not against flesh and blood. It's against the evils that come directly from the top. And this skull and bones is one branch of how you get to that level. We're showing you how these Edomites get to that level to be able to make the type of decisions that Satan deal with them directly. 
Hey, Cap, when you think about this spiritual wickedness, this wickedness was from the very beginning, mm. right? Because when you think about skull and bones, what, what pop up in your head? A skull and a bones. What, you, what would you think that would be called? Damn. Called an idol. Idol, that's right? it. Go to yeah. Wisdom of Solomon 14, starting verse 12. I'm going to show you Bring something. Bring it out. How this link up with, uh, with these secret societies, these secret ceremonies, and mm -hmm. things like that that they did behind closed doors, it all goes into the first sin. Read that. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 14. Start at verse 12. Yes, sir. The book of wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14 and verse 12. Bring it For the devising of idols was the beginning of spiritual fornication. Go ahead. And the invention of them, the corruption of life. So that skull and bone, that's an idol. People worship that thing. I'm pretty sure that we may not ever see it, but, you know, they probably got tattoos or yeah. stuff burnt into their skin or things like that. You may go to their house. They may have a room with a locked door. You can't never go in. Damn. You know, you can't believe that they have this, you know, it's out there. Yeah. So you know that's an idol or something that they worship. Keep reading. Verse 13. For neither were they from the beginning, neither shall they be forever. Go ahead. For by the vainglory of men, they entered into the world. So we see this idolatry came through men, the wickedness and vainglory of men. Right? Read. And therefore shall they come shortly to an end. And we know they're not going to last forever because when Christ blazes the sky, it's all coming down, right? That's right. So drop down to the point. Drop down to verse 23. Yes, sir. Verse 23. Bring it out. For while they slew their children in sacrifices. Because we heard, hear about that. We hear about the, uh, the what they call that, the blood sacrifices blood sacrifice. and That's all right. these things like that. You're not hearing about something for years and years and years, and it's not true. Right. Right? What we think of, we think about um, Michael Jordan. They talk right. about that. His father, what happened to his father. People talk Kanye about West. things like that. Kanye West. Yep. And we can go on and on, right? Keep reading. Or use secret ceremonies. They use what? Secret ceremonies. Ooh. Have, have, can you go on YouTube and find a Skull and Bones meeting? Nope. No. Right? They use secret ceremonies. Go ahead. Or may revelings of strange rites. So this idolatry is from the beginning set up by wicked men, the devil, right? The synagogue yeah. of Satan, all these different things. So we got to understand that that's what we're fighting against. We're fighting right. against that first sin that Eve came with. Cap, you all right. Hey, now, Cap said something. You didn't catch it. He said the synagogue of Satan. Pull up that next. It's like the last thing that we posted. Because I didn't know this until I just, something just popped in my head and said, do a little research, Ock. That was that what somebody was saying in my head sometimes. They called me Ock. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, pull up the, the James T. Matthews Masonic World. It's one of the last articles. It is the very, the very last article. I posted it at 546. What's that? They called it the synagogue of Satan. Right. That's what they called the synagogue of Satan. Now, watch this. Because we know the Bible also speaks about the synagogue of Satan. Now, remember, the scripture says that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of darkness, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Now, who runs the world today? Who's behind the world domination today? We all know it's the so-called Jewish man. Everybody knows this. So I want you to zoom in. Let's see. Does he have some type that's of that's anti-Semitic? That's anti-Semitic. You can't say that. I didn't know I couldn't say that. I thought I was a I thought I was a Shemite. That's what they say. Damn. Well, I don't hate you, Damn. so I can't be anti-Semitic. Facts. <laughs> Zoom in on this real quick. Now I want you to um what does that say at the top? Pull us down. Freemasonry and Judaism. Wow. Now go down. I, I want to get to the part where it says, ah, go down, go down, go down, go down, go down. A little bit more, a little bit more. Jews and Freemasonry. Now, did, now we would have never thought, I would have never thought in a million years that Jewish people had anything to do with Freemasonry at all. I thought they was their own separate people, God's chosen people, didn't do any evil. But when I stumbled upon the truth and found out we was actually the Jews, it started making sense. Let's zoom in on this. Let's read this. Jews and Freemasonry. Let's zoom in on that. Jews and Freemasonry. Go ahead. Jews were actively involved in the beginnings of Freemasonry in America. Hmm. Go ahead. There is evidence they were among those who established Masonry in seven of the original 13 states. Wow. Rhode Island, New York, Pennsylvania, Maryland, Georgia, South Carolina, and Virginia. Hey, I got I to gotta mention something real quick about those particular states, like Rhode Island, New York, Pennsylvania, Maryland, not necessarily Georgia, South Carolina, maybe Virginia. The northeast half of America, that's where you get movies like um, 
The Conjuring. Mm-hmm. Uh, you get movies like, give me something else. Like them, you know them, um, like, what's Amityville Horror? Yeah. Sinister, The Shine. No, The Shine was in California, bro. Annabelle. What the hell? Shame, 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 shame. It's Annabelle. <laughs> Shame on his brother. <laughs> that man said the shining was in northeast half of the country. That was in, Ca- that was in Colorado, bro. Huh? Shame on you, bro. That's Jack Nicholson, baby. Crown this man. <laughs> Stole him out, Debo. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Johnny, man. What's wrong with this man, man? Shame on his brother. Nah, I was just kidding. So <laughs> he got me off topic. So, but I'm just saying, like, it's some weird stuff that go on, and it's a weird spirit up there, man. That show American Horror Story. Roanoke. Yeah, Roanoke. Yeah. Right. That was in North Carolina, right? Mm-hmm. It's it's a, it's some just some some weird demonic Edomites that live in that part portion of the country. Connecticut, like Skull and Bones, started in Connecticut, New Haven, right? Salem Witch Trials. Right. Salem Witch. Oh, it's just some weird evil stuff that go on in that realm or that part of the country, man. And and it starts from that Freemasonry that was started by Amalek, the Jewish man, right? So let's read that. A Jewish Mason. A Jewish Mason. Moses Michael Hayes helped introduce the Masonic Scottish Rite in America. Mm. Hayes was also Deputy Inspector Inspector General of Masonry for North America in 1768 and Grand Master of Massachusetts from 1788 to 1792. So, wait a minute. Oh. Hold up. Hold up. So, a Jewish man was a Grand Master? Of a Masonic temple? Oh my God! I thought the <laughs> I thought the Jews was only supposed to follow one God, and they had commandments that they were supposed to follow, and they were forbidden to follow any other deity. That must mean them commandments don't belong to them, Kath. Whoa! Damn! So they can't Revelation? Can you get it? Two Revelation two and nine for me, please. The- These folks ain't the Jews the Bible talking about. Hell no. Well, it is in this regard. Go ahead. The book of Revelation, chapter 2 and verse 9. Go ahead. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, uh-huh. but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews. We say, you know, the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews. Watch this. And are not. But they not really Jews. Who are they? But are the synagogue of Satan. Bam. The devil. That makes perfect sense. Where you get that one from? I like that. Hey, that made perfect sense. Did you send him what I just sent you? I'm about to send it right send now. Send that real quick, cause I, I was reading this on my way up here. It's it's a, a, a article I looked at from the the history history.com, going into the seven things you may not know about Freemasons. Mm, yes, sir. Right? Pull that pull that article up real fast. I just sent it to you, officer. Hey, you got that fast. I'll All right, it. now keep dropping down, drop it on down. Let's see, keep going. You're going to go into to number four. Go. All right, yeah, number four. Let me see. Can you see? Yes, it? I'm going to read it real quick. This is small. You got it? Yes, sir. Go ahead, read it. The Catholic Church forbids members from being Freemasons. Mm. While Freemasonry is not itself a religion, all its members believe in a supreme being or grand architect of the universe. Members come from many faiths, but one denomination in particular bars any crossover. The Catholic Church first condemned Freemasonry in 1738, prompted by concern over Masonic temples and the secret rituals performed within them. In the 19th century, the Vatican even called the Masons the synagogue of Satan. Damn. Damn. There you go. There you go right there. Called them the synagogue of Satan. That let, lets you know where all this stuff comes from. It's one group of people that the Most High God say they wicked, they evil, they run the whole world, Job 9, 24. Yep. Even the Catholic Church was like, something wrong with these people right here. <laughs> they the synagogue of Satan. You can't be no Mason and be, a, uh, be in Catholicism. Right. It all links together. So, the, so, so it's, it's safe to say, which, based on what you just brought out, that the Jewish man today, Amalek, is the synagogue of Satan, Whoa. just like the Bible Whoa. says. The devil. You talking about the Masons. Then you start going into all this other stuff. Now you're talking about, <laughs> look, look, I'm trying to go home tonight. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, bring it out, man. They the devil the Bible speaks of. That's, That's right. right. That's right. Hey, go back to that little article we just pulled real quick. Go back to that article, man. There's some heavy stuff right here. It's real heavy. Not that one, the one we was just uh, reading. So what Cap brought out was, oh, no, go back to that one. It was something I saw as you were scrolling down. Go up. 
Go up real quick. Let's see one of the, go up, go up. Let's see one of the, oh, there it is right there. What that star look like? What does that star look like? That's look like what the Jewish man calls uh, the, the Morgan, what, Morgan, da, Morgan David, Morgan David yes, or the Star of David. Now, we know according to Scripture, get that real quick in Acts 7. I think it's 43. We know that that ain't got nothing to do with King David. Hell nothing no. whatsoever. We understand that that is an idol. And like Cap brought out earlier in Wisdom of Solomon 14, it's all idolatry. That's where it all stems from. That's Watch this, right. Acts 7. Read. The book of Acts, chapter 7 and verse 43. Come on. Yeah. Yay. Ye took up the tabernacle of Mola. Read. And the star of your God, Remphan. You see that? The star of your God, Remphan. Read. Figures which ye made. Figures which ye made. Our people was in idolatry when they made that thing. That was not of God. That was not of the Most High. Go ahead. To worship them. See that? To worship them. Read. And I will carry you away beyond Babylon. And the Lord put us in slavery because of that thing. Now, why would the Jewish man, if he really was a Jew, then why would he still have that star knowing that the Bible says that was the reason we went into slavery? Because he ain't the Jew. You the Jew. That's following these right. heathenish customs, involving yourselves in these demonic, satanic organizations that's causing our people to continue to go astray. You can't make it up. So go back to that article. which I just want to read that first, that top part again. So it says, a Jewish mason by the name of Moses Michael Hayes this dude was a grand master of the Massachusetts of, of Massachusetts from 1788 to 1792. Where were black people? In slavery. So the Jewish man was okay with your enslavement. Go ahead. Paul, Paul Revere. Yes, sir. Paul Revere served under him as deputy grand master. Now we now remember, Paul Revere was one of the rebel one of those that rebelled against the establishment of Great Britain being over America and over the 13 colonies in particular, correct? So Paul Revere was against that. Paul Revere was also a Mason. Paul Revere was okay with your enslavement. But black people today still hold this man in high regard. They hold Samuel Adams in high regard because they was all together. Samuel Adams, um, Paul Revere, this Moses Michael Hayes, which was an Am a Amalekite, a Jewish man, they all had a, a hand in your enslavement at one point or another. And you black men are calling yourselves Masons today. Go ahead. There were several other Jews mm. who held the title of Deputy Inspector General of Masonry in the late 1700s. In the late 1700s. So wait a minute. Now, I want to I move on to something real quick. We'll come back to this. We maybe. I don't know. Go to that book, The Chosen People from the Caucus. Because I want to I delve into something, that because it's going to bring this all home. This book is called The Chosen People from the Caucus by Michael Bradley. Go ahead. All right. Uh, zoom in on that bottom part section right there. You pulled exactly what I wanted to. You in the spirit. Yes. Pull us down. Read that for me. Yes, sir. What, what zoom out a little bit. Yeah, there you go. Whatever the truth about Columbus personally, there is no doubt that Jews and Jewish money were heavily committed to the transatlantic voyage. Mm. Even more relevant is the fact that Jews formed a considerable portion of the Spanish settlers and conquistadors who came to the New World. Wait a minute. <laughs> the, 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 Amalek was amongst the conquistadors. Amalek was amongst the Spanish settlers. But you read in the Spanish Inquisition that they were expelling Jews from the land. Now, how was they then a part of the, I don't understand. So those Jews that we read about during the Spanish Inquisition that were excavated and were kicked out of Portugal, kicked out of Spain, forced to go to St. Thomas, forced to go to the west coast of Africa and then brought to America. The Jewish man was a part of those people that brought them, meaning those weren't the same Jews. Right. There were two different people, and those same Jews Help orchestrate Freemasonry, which black people are part of today. Cap, Damn. It's looking like you got one common denominator whenever yes. we go into any type of wickedness. That lets you know in Malachi 1 who it's talking about. It mm -hmm. says the border of wickedness, meaning the beginning, the end, anything surrounding the outskirts, all wickedness come from this, this man right here. Damn. So he is the border of wickedness. It's him right here. That's right. I'll praise for the most high. This is fun. <laughs> I'm enjoying this. Uh, give me those screenshots real quick. I'm happy to be here. I'm so happy to be yeah. here. Hey, give me Isaiah 1420 as well. And pull up that uh, the screenshots Officer uh, Zariah just pulled. Is that the very first one, Officer? Was that the very first one at the top? Because I want that one in particular. 
because I want to show you another branch of Freemasonry, what they believe, and how they go into the Bible and try to uh, try to use the Bible or what's this? What's the word? A misinterpret the Bible to fit what their agenda is and what they believe. Read that. The book of Isaiah, chapter 14 and verse 20. Thou shalt not be joined with them in burial, because o'er thy land, mm. and slain thy people. The seed of evildoers shall never be renowned. What the Bible's called, the so-called white man? The seed of evildoers. And in particular, Amalek. He said they are the seed of evildoers. Go ahead. Shall never be renowned. They'll never be renowned. Meaning what? They ain't gonna never be considered the people of God. No, they sir. Not, God is never going to hold them to some type of renown like he has held us up to. We the children of Israel, you brothers and sisters that's involved in some type of Freemasonry, you got to come up out of that thing. You got to repent because your slave master set this thing up with the intent of keeping you enslaved and destroying you. All the principles that they talk about, about making the community better, making um, um, the, the, the fellow man better, that wasn't talking about you. You was a slave then. They weren't talking about making you better. Because in that same constitution, it says you three-fifths of a man. Bible Bring calls them the seed of evil doers. Now, also, you want to talk about this part real quick? Okay, yes, sir. Uh, Pull that up for us. Just to kind of preface yeah, let's, a little bit. Yeah. What we're reading is um, just a piece from Albert Pike. You know, Albert Pike is a um, very uh, prominent in a Masonic society or whatever. But um, this is from his book called Morals and Dogma, mm. in which he goes into the explanation of the um, the different degrees that you go through in masonry and the different stuff that you're supposed to learn okay. in each of those degrees. And what we have pulled up on the screen is a piece from the 32nd degree or the uh, what they call the sublime, sublime prince of the royal secret. Okay, put it up. All right. So the, let's read that, Soda John. Yes, sir. The rights of the highest masonry. Magism was the science of Abraham and Orpheus, of Confucius and Zor Zoroaster. It was the dogmas of this science that were engraven on the tablets of stone by Hanak and Tri Trismegistus. Damn. Moses, you all right. Moses purified and reve revealed them, for that is the meaning of the word revealed. So, hold on. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I, I try, y'all. I try. But it's just so much that catches my eye. This is probably my problem on Clubhouse. I hear BS and I just have to cut it. I got to be more patient. Um, but I got to say something. Um, it, it, could you pull us back down? Let me read that again. I just want to make sure I ain't wrong. It says, Magism was the science of Abraham. Magism what? was the science of Abraham. Bro, what are you talking about, what, man? What, what can I read that? Like, where biblically can I read where... Abraham practiced science, and it's called magism. You ain't going to read it, Cap. You, you're not going to? You can actually read quite the contrary. Which, you got something in the Bible that you can read? Because uh, I'm Cause, confused. Because they mentioned Abraham. They also said Moses was a part of this, this mess, too. Yeah, but what? Moses gave us a commandment against magism and magic and oh, things like that. Oh, he did. He did. You know what? Genesis 26, verse 5. Bring it out. Because it mentions something about Abraham. Because if I'm going to learn about Abraham, I probably want to go to the Bible. That's right. <laughs> you know, that's a funny thing about the Bible. It gives you the origin of Abraham. You know, it's, it's interesting. So let's read in the Bible. And welcome, awesome Adonijah, by the way. I'll pray to the Most High. You made it. <laughs> let's read Genesis 26, verse 5. The book of Genesis, chapter 26 and verse 5. Go ahead. Because that Abraham obeyed my voice mm. and kept my charge. My commandments, my statutes, and my laws. Uh, wait, hold on. I, you got glasses I can wear? I, 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 ain't, I don't know if I need a prescription. I'm looking for magism and science. Where can I read that? Because, you know, this is what the, the deep Negro do on TikTok. He say, yeah, see, but see, the commandments was actually the science of the magism. I, what? No, uh, no, that ain't what the Bible say. The Bible says Abraham kept the law, statutes, and commandments of the Lord. That's right. That's what Abraham did. God gave Abraham commandments. Abraham followed them. You understand? That's why Abraham knew about sacrifice. You understand? That's why Abraham knew to have his house in order. <laughs> Marriage. Because Abraham knew the commandments of God. Abraham wasn't kicking no science crap, no magism. You understand? I no, sick. sir. 
He said something about Moses too. You asked something about that. I just wanted because you, especially since you mentioned that uh, Abraham kept the commandments of God, and they tried to put Moses in this as well. But God gave Moses a particular commandment against magism, witches, and all that different stuff. Right? Get Deuteronomy eighteen and ten. Yes, sir. Let's see. Do the Bible line up? Do Freemasonry really line up with the Bible? Mm. Let's see. Deuteronomy chapter 18 and verse 10. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 18 and verse 10. Watch Freedom. the commandment. There shall not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire. So it said there shall be found, not be found among you one that maketh his son or his daughter pass through the fire. Going into those strange rituals like Captain Yadin bought out. Those, those sacrifices, unholy sacrifices where they were sacrificing their children. Read. Or that uses divination. Divination or magism or magic. You say, the Bible say one of them can't be found among the children of Israel. But here we are with the 32nd degree Mason saying that this is what Moses was doing. Mm. That's got to be a lie. Keep reading, though. Or an observer of time. Uh-huh. Or an enchanter. Magism. Or a witch. Don't witches use magic? What Moses say? Read the first part in verse 10. There shall not be found among you anyone. There shall not be found among you any one of these. Keep reading. That make of his son. Or his daughter to pass through the fire, mm -hmm. or that use of divination, Read. or an observer of times, come on, or an enchanter, or a witch, Read. or a charmer, a charmer using magic once again, Reed. or a consulter with familiar spirits, Read. or a wizard. What wizards do? They use magic too, magism. God say we don't do that. God say no. These things are, matter of fact, keep reading. God going to tell you what that's called. Or Read. a necromancer. Read. For all that do these things. All that do these things, for all you Masons out there. Are an abomination unto the Lord. You an abomination and your organization is an abomination to God. Read. And because of these abominations, the Lord thy God don't drive them out from before thee. That's why we got 32nd and 33rd degree Masons in the hood and still we got potholes in the streets. Damn. We still got stuff going on. I thought there was some royal secret that they were supposed to have that was supposed to help help somebody. Damn. Hasn't happened yet. Right. And here we are in 2021 with all these Masons and all this supposed knowledge we going to, that's going against what the Bible say. That's why God say he going to drive us out. Drive them out from before thee. Read. That's it. Mm, mm, mm. Boy, that's some power right now, there. Um, when you when you brought up the magism, it just threw something in my head real quick. I said, you know, we've been talking about the one person that's always in the middle of all this stuff, right? You got something on it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Send it to me. Let me send it. Yeah, I want yeah, I want people to see it's it. It's always the same. Let me see if I can find the best one. Yeah, yeah send yeah, that this, to me. This will work right here. I'll send this one right here. Yeah, send that to me right now. I'm gonna I'm gonna send that over to the brethren. We gotta pull this up. We got to know. Because hey, it all go, it all go in. Go ahead, Austin. I just wanna say, you know how how the, the Edomites, they don't respect Jake when they call themselves Masons because you have people in, in, in armed forces who see people with, with, with uniforms on their body at Walmart. They yeah. make them take them right off in the, in the street. But an Edomite see a regular Jake with a Mason hat on, all the stickers on the back of the car, they don't pull over and tell them to take all that off. Right. Because they don't respect it. They know that what they're doing is foolishness. You know, it's interesting how you're a part of a secret society and we know you're a part of it. Right. Damn. You got it on your hat, <laughs> on your shirt, and on the back of your car. Bruh. That's how you know Negroes ain't really part of nothing. White folks laughing at y'all, man. You black folks can't keep no secrets. Right, you can't black folks keep no damn time. secret. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. Yeah, you right. <laughs> <laughs> what you had, Cap? You want to pull that up? Let's pull up that article I just sent you. Yeah, yeah, go with that one. All right. All right, so when you went to, when you read that uh, magism, the first thing that popped in my head is we know that the uh, so-called Jews, they don't just deal with the Bible, right? Right, Because they always go like, oh, they don't believe in the New Testament and things like that. And when they talk about, oh, it's not evil, we don't hate other people. But that's only when they're dealing with the Bible. Right. But when you dive in some of their other books and other things they believe, like the Kabbalah, mm. right, that goes right. into their hatred for the other nations. And it also goes into... Magic. Wow. Right? Read that. Uh, read just the beginning of it. Yes, sir. The power of language in Jewish Kabbalah and magic. And what? In And magic. And magic, right? So this, just like what we was talking about, it's always one person in the middle of this whole thing when it comes into this wickedness. Right. right. And they go to the so-called white man that call himself a Jew. Read it one more time. The power of language in Jewish Kabbalah and magic 
how to do and undo things with words. That's what they believe in. That When you start to jump into that Kabbalah, it goes all into different type of magic and mysticisms and crazy things like that. So we're not, we're not really going to go through this article, but just to know that the other forms and books and things that they believe in deal with magic. Wow. So, wait, I'm confused because in the Bible... Does it say that it's okay for the Israelites to read another book ah, ah. that deals in the magic? They don't Hell believe no. in the Bible. Oh, oh they, so they're not the people of God. <laughs> no, sir. Oh, okay. So we should be Freemasons no, sir. because they started it, and they're not the people of God. They're in direct opposition of God. Okay. Well, I'm cool with that. Hey, Nehemiah 9.13. Yes, sir. Just real quick. I want to thank you for this pre-sale because I thought about you when I wrote it down. Oh, I said, I remember this brother pulled that on Clubhouse. And a sister was like, oh, I didn't know that was in there. Let me shut up. <laughs> <laughs> no, Nehemiah 9, 13. Because it mentioned Moses, right? right? It mentioned what was revealed to Moses. It said magism was, right? Okay. The Go book ahead. of Nehemiah, chapter 9 and verse 13. Bring it up. Thou camest down also upon Mount Sinai and spakest with them from heaven. The them is the Israelites. The thou is God. Go ahead. And gave us them right judgments mm. and true laws. Read. Good statutes and commandments. Ain't that what Abraham kept? That's right. So they was doing what Abraham did. Okay. God. Go ahead. And made us known unto them thy holy Sabbath. Mm. And commanded them precepts, statutes, and laws by the hand of Moses, thy servant. So Moses wasn't getting magism. Moses no wasn't getting sir. science. Uh, or what is it, Orpheus? <laughs> he wasn't like Orpheus, right? Moses was revealed the commandments. When we go to the Bible, it cuts and destroys all these different things. You brothers and sisters that's involved in this, this is a, this is a, a plea to you, brothers and sisters. This is all love. We want to see you repent from this thing. We want to see you come up out of it. Some of you brothers and sisters that may be new in the truth, you may still have ties with this, right? You may still have some involvement with this. You got to let it go. You got to repent from that thing. You got to let go of all organization with that. You can't serve God and mammon. You can't serve two gods. Get that real quick. I want that in um, um, 2 Corinthians 6, 14. We got to pull these scriptures to give you understanding because, yes, we're trying to tear it down with the scriptures. But if you're still involved in it, when Christ come, you're not going to be saved. You understand? You're not going to get the kingdom being involved in these type of things, the rituals, you know, the, the various different things that they are involved in. And guess what? It's going to look beautiful. They're going to go and they're going to say, look, look what we do for the community. Look how we buy things for the children. Look how we get Christmas gifts and stuff like that. And, we, and without a spiritual eye, you're going to say, yeah, man, they do do good things for the community. I don't see y'all Israelites doing that. But guess what? We out cleaning the communities, too. We out being out there in the streets, laboring for our people, fly missions, going to these various different uh, colleges, speaking to our people about the importance of knowing who they are, black history in the Bible, so on and so forth. Right. So don't be confused by the things that you're seeing that these people may be doing and be deceived that is right or that is precious. Right. It ain't according to the Bible. Read that in Second Corinthians 6, 14 real quick. The book of Second Corinthians, chapter six and verse 14. Go ahead. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. Go ahead. For what fellowship have the righteousness with unrighteousness? The Bible says what fellowship have righteousness with unrighteousness? We've been proving all day that everything that stems from this um, 33rd or 32nd Masons and these various different sects of Freemasonry, it's all involved in evil. It's all involved in unrighteousness. It's not according to the commandments of the Lord. So what are you as a repenting Israelite coming into the knowledge of who you are? What fellowship do you have with that now that you know that you are, are, are a prince that has power with God and that you got to keep the commandments? And the reason you went in slavery is because we broke the commandments. What does Freemasonry have to offer you now? Nothing. Go ahead. And what communion have light with darkness? What, what communion have light with darkness? Remember we read earlier that the darkness of this world, the rulers of the darkness of this world, spiritual wickedness in high places, we see the people that originated this, they are full of darkness. Go ahead. And what concord hath Christ with Belial? So what Christ got to do with the devil? What Christ got to do with the grand architect? <laughs> What does Christ have to do with that? Nothing. Go ahead. Or what part hath he that believeth with an infidel? Watch this. This is the heaviest part of the scripture. Watch this. Read. And what agreement have the temple of God with idols? What? <laughs> what agreement has the temple of God, which you are, what does that have to do with idols? What does that have to do with masonry? 
and all the various different idolatry that they're involved in, the rituals, the secret ceremonies, all their different oaths and handshakes and knocks on the door for you to be let in, and how you got to take a, a sharp left turn. Is it sharp left turn or sharp right turn? It's both. You got to take these left what? turns while you laugh over there, bro. <laughs> you can call what? Say it. Say it on the mic, man. I don't, I don't know about this. <laughs> it's called squaring off how you got to walk when you come into the lodge you got to sharp left and sharp right as you turn and walk to the various positions in the lodge or in the room or whatever so hey, what they got to do with jesus I know about the, um, what about the donkey ride i heard about oh, the oh riding the goat riding the goat, it's the goat. <laughs> that's what it called riding, the, riding goat. the goat so you actually you rode a goat nah you sure i'm sure so you're not <laughs> ride a wide oh, oh, man, riding a goat. <laughs> do that don't ride no wild <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Hey, hey, real quick. So, ahead, something you said when you, you talked about people that's still involved in this thing today and also people that done heard about it, right? Not only, you know, they recruit. They recruit for this thing. And they right. don't just, like, see some just regular old person on, you know, not doing nothing about itself. But they look and see brothers that's about something, that they see something in them that's doing stuff positive, and they try and, you know, you a traveling man, like traveling man, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> man. Hey man, why don't you come see something, right? So they trying and they trying and just like you said, like, mm -hmm. look at this is what we do for our communities, we doing this, we doing that. Go to um sec second Corinthians eleven and um verse fourteen. Bring it out. Second Corinthians eleven verse fourteen. Read that. Yes, sir. Because they always make stuff look good, like it's a good thing, it's mm -hmm. going good in our community. Read that. The book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 11, and verse 14. Bring it out. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. So when mm. Prince Hall, when he looked up to uh, Albert Pike, he was looking at him like, this is God right here. Damn. Keep reading. Verse 15. Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness. As the ministers of righteousness. So when you have these brothers coming up to you, asking you, are you a traveling man, and telling you all the good things they see in you and showing you what they do, and they invite you to this meeting, and you're like, man, this sounds like something good. Right. It's this the scriptures letting you know what's happening. It's making it look like it's something positive, look like it's something right, but really it's idolatry. That's exactly what it is. So I'm glad you mentioned that, Cap, because you've been doing a good job today of transitioning us perfectly into our next point. So what That's you said right. was how they would use, they would see a black man with influence or someone that he ain't beat up. Like, he's somebody that's that to the eye, you would think on the outside looking in, yo, this dude got clout. He's a mason. I should be a mason to reach his status, correct? Right. Show those images. Not that first one right there. Show the next one. The next one. The next one. Look at this. Pull us down. Now, look at some of the influential black men of our time and even before us. Pull us down. Let's zoom in on this picture of some of these men who are involved in Freemasonry, who are part of a lodge. Look at that. Dang. You got Mega Evers, well-known uh, civil rights activist of the 1950s, right, and 60s. Ray here in Jackson, Mississippi. You got Nelson Mandela, Booker T. Washington, Thurgood Marshall. Thurgood Marshall was Simeon, I believe. Uh, Louis Latimer. Uh, who is that? Um, what's that say? O.C. Davis? Ozzie Davis. Davis. Right, go down. Sugar Ray Robinson. So, we, so there were athletes, reverends, lawyers, comedians. Look, Richard Pryor, very influential in the black community, right? Was Granville T. Woods, uh, W.E.B. Du Bois. I mean, come on, man. Cap, Cap, <laughs> I'm going to tell you something that's the more and more and the longer I'm in this truth, the Bible is a true book, and you see That's it happen right. over and over and over again. Go to the book of Daniel, <laughs> chapter 1, and start at verse 3. Bring it out. The book of Daniel, chapter 1, verse 3. They do the same thing over and over and over again. That's right. That's why the Bible says the judgment of the Lord is like a ring, mm. right? Just like we get punished over and over and over again, yep. all these things play out over and over and over again in time, right? Read that, Daniel chapter 1, verse 3. The book of Daniel, chapter 1 and verse 3. Bring it out. And the king spake unto Asphenaz, the master of his eunuchs, that he should bring certain of the children of Israel, and of the king's seed, and of the princes, children in whom was no blemish. So back then, they was like, look, we want certain people to be inside our schools, right? We want to use them for inf influence. So of the children of Israel, you can't just get anybody. We want the right. children with no blemishes. Keep mm. reading. But well-favored 
well favored, meaning they was popular, right? They was known in the gates, right? right? And skillful in all wisdom. They were skillful. They were smart people. Go right. ahead. And cunning in knowledge. They knew things. They weren't just some um, regular just mo on the on Joe Blow on the street. They didn't just say, oh, you, 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 you. No, they say, like, let's study these people. Let's see what how he talk, how the other people around him, how they see him. Let's see these and bring them amongst us. Keep reading. And understanding science. Go ahead. And such ha as had ability in them to stand in the king's palace. To stand in the king's palace, right? The thing about it, when it comes to our people that's really educated, that fall in under these characteristics, they have to get them out from amongst the people because they'll become our leaders. Mm. So they take them from amongst our people and they infiltrate them and they teach them their ways so it's they're always, um, at the end of the day, they always got us. Right. So we think we're following somebody that's pushing us in the right direction, but the whole time they got that hand up under them, under the skirt, directing their ways. The, the puppet master's always pushing them in one direction. Keep reading. And whom they might teach the learnings and the tongue of the Chaldeans. And the king appointed so them. So that's it right there. So basically they was teaching them at that day the Chaldeans, but today... They teach the ways of America, right? right? The same thing over and over again, always happening. Hey, you know what this goes with? Exactly what Cap just brought out. This goes with that scene from Trick Baby. You got that? Mm -hmm. Pull that up real quick. This goes exactly with that. Bishop showed this before. We've showed it before here on the show. Pull this up. It always come back around to Esau sit around, like Cap said, and looks and tries to find the upper echelon of our people, those that stand out in our communities and set them up as leaders after they've been trained by the slave master. Hey, you, Watch think, this. you think Obama was just like some guy somewhere? No. Look, they've been watching him for a long time. Next thing you know, one year he do a speech, all of a sudden he running for president. Right. It don't make no sense. <laughs> right. Damn. That's Damn, I ain't never think about it like that. You're exactly right. Hey, pull it up, man. Pull that. Read, play that. Uh, it's you liberals who have lifted them up, Howard. Paul, you conservatives make a mistake. You can't afford to strangle hope in people. Without hope, people become dangerous. Cut up a little bit. Howard, you liberals have let them invade our society. You give them jobs, political jobs. Paul, you missed the point. It's only the smart ones we move up. <laughs> that makes it even worse. Pause it. You know, we that's, what, that's what Cap brought out in Daniel. Right. It's only the smart ones that we lift up. Those without no blemish that have understanding and science, cunning and knowledge, right? These are the ones we want. Those are the ones that stand out in their community that the people will gravitate to. We don't have to teach them nothing. They'll teach for us. Right. <laughs> Go ahead, man. That's your Oprah Winfrey's, your Damn. Michael Jordan's, mm. uh, all, all your entertainment, everything. So Michael Jordan is a part of a Greek fraternity, right? The Q-Dogs, right? Mm. Which also has ties in Freemasonry. Right. Damn. Go ahead. You got to cut it up. We can't hear it out here. Uh, they probably can hear it on the feed, but we can't hear it. Can you cut it up out here for us so we can hear it? ...into a leader against us. But if we raise him up into white society, we neutralize it. Go back a little he bit more. Go back about 10 seconds, 15 seconds. There you go. Put it right there. Jobs, political jobs. Oh, you missed the point. It's only the smart ones we move up. <laughs> that makes it even worse. Oh, you know, we have to move them up. If we leave a smart one in the ghetto, he might develop into a leader against us. But if we raise him up into white society, we neutralize him. He feels compelled to try to act like us. He loses his identity and uh, his racial anger, if he has it. He becomes alien to his brothers. Mm. They realize he sold them out and they grow to hate him. He becomes worthless to them and safe for us. Uh, no, thank you. In fact, in his love for the creature comforts, except for his color, he's become one of us. Chocolate cover Edomite. Hey, go to Second Maccabees <laughs> chapter 4 and verse 15. Bring it out! Second Maccabees chapter 4 and verse 15. Uh, it happens over and over again. Dang. Let's read that. Bring it out. The book of 2 Maccabees, chapter 4 and verse 15. Bring it out. Not setting by the honor of their fathers, but liking the glory of the Grecians best of all. That's what they just said, right? He said and, and, and he wants to be like us. Like it says, he, he wants to be a part of our society. 
He don't care about the ghetto no more. He don't care about the projects. He, he moves out of the ghetto to move around people that hate him. Yep. Right? Keep reading. By Dang. reason whereof, so a calamity came upon them. For they had them to, excuse me, for they had them to be their enemies. Their enemies, mm. a.k.a. Uh, Albert Pike. Right. Reed, and Avengers. And their Avengers. Their enemies became our Avengers. Right. He looked up to them. He was like, I want to be like him so much that I want to fight to be a part of this organization. That's right. I'm going to get a letter and send it all the way across the water to petition Britain so I can be a part of this organization. I don't want to start no black organization. I want to be a part of their organization. Damn. Whose custom they follow so earnestly. They follow the customs earnestly. Like, they follow these customs harder than the, than the white people do. Yeah, they do. They got all the rings. It's on their cars. They got the buttons all over the place. They got the shirts, the hats, the, the, the chains, everything. The, the white people look at them and go like, Look at these dudes here. Right. It's supposed to be a damn secret. Right. You can't give black people nothing. Right. That's why we want to let y'all in. Keep reading. <laughs> and unto whom they desire to be like in all things. They desire to be like them in all things. And that's what you have when you have free Prince Hall masonry. Hey, I'm glad you pulled it up. Let's transition, Ray. I told you, Cap been on point all day. He helping us transition. He keeping me on point. Yes, sir. Hey, let's go to the secret history of Prince Hall Freemasonry and start where it says a house divided. That's on page five, all right? It's on page five. It says a house divided. That's Prince Hall, by the way, right there. So let's zoom in on that. Yeah, you got to zoom way in. All right. Uh, can you see that, soldier? Yes, you need sir. to, okay. Read that. Prince Hall Freemasonry, born from a house divided. As Freemasons grew in popularity among white colonists, African Americans in early America took an interest in the order too. The story of African-American Freemasonry began in 1775 when abolitionist Prince Hall and 14 other free black men sought initiation into the all-white St. John's Lodge in Boston. So like Cap just brought out of the scriptures, they wanted to be like in all things. And then notice he was an ab uh, abolitionist, meaning he was against slavery, right? He, was a, uh, he wanted to, to abolish slavery. Right. Go ahead. Hall, who owned his own leather shop and fought in the Revolutionary War, championed the scholastic rights of black children in Boston as a means, of, as a means toward achieving equality. He viewed Freemasonry as another path to a racial parity, mm. a way for his fellow free black men to organize and push for their rights through education and activism. So, naively, not knowing he's the children of Israel, he sought out to do something for his people. That's what his thought was, his initial thought, which we can't argue with that. That's not a bad thing. Of course, he didn't know who he was, so he went about it the wrong way. He tried to go through his slave master. He envied what they had established and what they had set up, and he tried to infiltrate it so that he can push his ideas on them. He didn't realize he was dealing with the devil the Bible speak of, right. and they That's are a right. deaf adder. They can't hear nothing you saying about helping black folks. As a no matter of fact, sir. they shun it. Right? Go ahead. Despite Freemasonic doctrine stating that all men are equal, the member of... <laughs> I'm the, sorry. The members of St. John's hey, that's Lodge... What they, that's what they said. That's what they when said. When they heard it, they were like, <laughs> oh, yeah. hey, go pick that cotton nah, over there. Right, right. It's 1775. Boy, what you doing out the field? Damn. Go ahead. Despite Freemasonic doctrine stating that all men are equal, the members of St. John's Lodge rejected Prince Hall and his cohort. Undaunted, they sought international recognition from an older lodge overseas. So they, they appealed to who they thought was superior to them. Watch this. They successfully petitioned the Grand Lodge of Ireland and on March 6, 1775, founded the African Lodge No. 1, today <laughs> known as African Lodge 459. It didn't say they joined St. John's. Right. It said Negroes start your own. Get a little Negroes a bone. Yeah, they, they fought. He fought in the war. They give him a little bone. That's what he did. That's exactly what they did. They gave our brother a bone. And he wasn't able to see that they still not allowing me to be amongst them. They're forcing me to start my own chapter of said, quote, unquote, Masonic, uh, what is it? Um, Masonic ideology or organization. You, you had something else? Go ahead. No. Nah, yeah, go ahead. You had something? No, nah, I'm going to say that. Okay. I, just, I just thought it funny that he uh, found it. Okay, or a good thing to go tell the devil on the devil. 
Damn. <laughs> Say, I'm going to go tell Massa on you. Massa. <laughs> <laughs> and got him alive. Ain't that and so? got him alive. Wow. So they sort the, the the superior master said, "Look, get a negro a bone." Right. All right. And that goes just straight into what Captain uh, what Captain Dean just brought out. Yep. The Saint John's lives was his enemies, but the ones overseas was his Avengers. Damn. Dang. Dang. The Bible Damn. Then it changed his mind because he trying to do something for his people, but they say, "Okay, go establish your own thing over here." Right. So that hey, that took the, all the uh, animosity toward his enemy. Yeah. Say, oh, like like the scripture said, "Gift destroyed the heart." Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Say, oh, they all right. They they let me have a building, have my own life, and I can I can you know teach the people how I want to teach them under their ideology. I got rights. Damn. Go ahead. Let's watch. I mean, let's go back to it. Let's read. It. When he began to look at the when he began to look at the way people were being treated in the Boston area, he saw the usefulness of Freemasonry and how it brought men together of different diasporas to work toward a common goal. Now, when he says brought men together of different diasporas, he's talking about the Irish. The Irish were brought here on ships, but they weren't slaves. They were indentured servants who eventually worked off their um, debt and became over you. Because the Irish have the fire department, right? And the Italians own the, um, the police department. They run that. So they ended up becoming influential in American history in, on the side of the oppressor. We became influential and known for slavery, right? So he thought that he could bring them all together under Freemasonry. And, and of course, as you see today, we're still being destroyed. There's still a branch of Freemasonry that we have to have on our own while they have their own. Go ahead. Waterley said of Hall. He sought that the same sort of thing for his folks in order to push them forward socially and civically. Go ahead. From the start, the African Lodge number 459 and other African-American lodges that follow in its footsteps faced adversity from the Grand Lodges governing each individual state. At the time, members of most stateside Grand Lodges rejected the international recognition granted by the Grand Lodge of Ireland mm. and the subsequent recognition granted the United Grand Lodge of England, this meant that in the United States, African-American lodges were considered illegitimate. <laughs> Man. You know, you know what they call that today? That's uh, low-level information. Damn. That's what they Damn. said. That's what they said yeah. we were. Right. We don't, them Negroes don't know nothing. Illegitimate. No, no I'll tell you what it is right now. Black. Hebrew Israelites. Wow, that's, that's it. What, that's what that is. That's what it is. That's what that is. They're hey, not look, the real hey, I told you they say we the uh, Freemasons. Look at look at Jonathan Wilson. He said we some Freemasons. <laughs> look, <laughs> look at the colors the, behind. Look at the colors behind. Damn. Us. How you ain't slick, y'all hey, Freemasons. Just, stop being a damn fool. Don't oh, don't move your hands, crazy, because they yeah. gonna, they gonna screenshot. They've been waiting the whole the whole show. <laughs> Man, these Negroes here. I'm gonna go ahead and remove that, brother. Thank you. You've been removed. Uh, yeah, foolishness. You see what I'm saying? We sit here tearing it down. Right. But a Negro say, no, nah, that's all a trick. Don't, give, don't let them do the Jedi mind trick on you, bro. They're Freemasons, too. Now, when <laughs> we get in trouble for speaking evil of Freemasonry, right. nigga's stupid. Um, I need you to shut the hell up I, yes. for the immediate future. That's perfect. <laughs> that yeah. is perfect. Shut your black mouth. <laughs> your black mouth. <laughs> hey, give me Proverbs 331. Bring it out. You know what? This, and even today when people see Israel united in Christ, proves the small-mindedness of our people. Our people have been so destroyed that they cannot fathom that black and Hispanic and Native American men and women can come together and create something great without having our oppressors back us. Right. That's what that is. That's the same way that Prince Hall thought. He thought that he couldn't establish something great without having our oppressors back us. Just like today, they say that we can't do something great. The Freemasons have to be behind us, right? right? Read the scripture real quick, Proverbs 3.31. The book of Proverbs chapter three and verse 31. Read it out. Envy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. The Bible says don't envy your oppressor and don't choose any of his ways. Guess what, Freemasonry is the way of your oppressor. We saw where it was, saw where it was established. It was established by the same people that funded the transatlantic slave trade. But, you know, the black man has been so diseased. That's why the Bible said, hey, you know, Bishop pulled this the other day. Pull that. Give me that real quick in Joel 10. I think it's verse 4 about the fleshly eyes. Our people have, can't see truth. A lot of our people are blinded by the darkness of this world, by the evils of, of this world. Because 
we always say stuff like, I don't care how it originated. I care how I feel about it now. That's the same thing we heard last night on Clubhouse regarding the 4th of July. We were slaves when it was instituted. It was never meant for us. Now that you are able to partake in a few of the luxuries, which the luxuries ain't nothing but rioting, drunkenness, wantonness, chambering, sexual immorality, drugs, pork. Right. That's what you do on 4th of July. You get high, you get drunk, you go dance and do the Cupid Shuffle or the cha-cha slide at your grandmama's house in the backyard. Bruh. You barbecue and eat unclean food. Damn. Right? And, get and the, then you go fornicate. And get to shooting at the right, end of the night. Right, and get to shooting at the end of the night and kill one of your own brothers. Damn. You understand? This? Long live whatever. You understand? R.I.P. whatever. You got a t-shirt the next week. That's what we love to do. And we forget that it was originated for our oppressors, for them being emancipated from their oppressors or who they felt like they was, was their oppressors. Them white folk problem. Fourth of July, white folk problem. They ain't got nothing to do with us. Two brothers fighting. We jump in the middle. Black man, hey, you brothers shouldn't fight. Let me break this up. Get the hell out of here. You were slaves. Read that for me, man. The book of Job, chapter 10 and verse 4. Read it up. Hast thou eyes of flesh, or seest thou as a man seeth? You see that? It says, hast thou eyes of flesh, or seest thou as a man seeth? That's how our people, we don't look spiritually into this Bible and look and see like, man, wait a minute. This Bible talking about us. This is about us. We are the children of the, of the book. We are That's the Israelites. Right. The Bible talks about our, our oppression, our enslavement. We should not involve ourselves in anything that has anything to do with what goes against these scriptures. If it's not aligning with the scriptures and the commandments of God, we as black people, especially off the ass whooping God then gave us for the last, what, 400 years? 400 plus years, and even before that, when you account all our captivities, bro, we've been in captivity more than we've been free. Right. We was in captivity in Egypt when we became a nation. We came out of that. We was in, then we went into various captivities under various different Africans and Moabites and all these various different um, people during the time of Judges. Then we get out of that. We finally able to establish something under King David and King Solomon. That was 80 years. We ain't never ruled more than 100 years straight. 200 years straight. Now, I'm, not, I'm talking about in righteousness. I'm not talking about the dark ages, obviously. But I'm talking about in righteousness. We've never been able to truly just rule under the Most High God. We've always had to go in uh, captivity for our rebellion against the Most High. When the black man going to wake up? When the black man going to sit back and say, you know what, man? To hell with all the idolatry, man. What the Bible say? You understand? Right. That's what the Most High want. The Most High said, when you going to search me out? Right, give me that real quick in Isaiah. Or no, um, Hosea 515. When we gonna search out the most high? When we gonna look and see, hey, when we gonna get our kingdom back? That should be your question. But the black man question is, uh, are you guys Masons? Are you guys Freemasons? I look at your garments and I see how this looks like a triangle in the front. Shut the hell up, man. Huh? Repent, bruh. Repent. You can do something great. You can be a part of something great. Just repent. <laughs> it's that easy. Read. <laughs> The book of Hosea, chapter 5 and verse 15. Bring it up. I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense and seek my face. In their affliction, they will seek me early. That's what, that's what the, the Bible said. That's what God said. He said, look, you, you, he going to return to his place until you acknowledge your offense. You got to seek God's face and acknowledge your offense. Guess what, Lord? We have sinned. That's what he said in 1 I mean, Kings 8, right? He want to hear us say it. We have sinned and have done perversely. We have committed wickedness. Lord, we repent from that thing. That's what the most high want to hear. But until you br brothers and sisters do that, you will continue to stay in darkness. You're going to continue to look at this thing with fleshly eyes. You're not going to be able to really get the truth. You will continue to stand on your oppressor's doctrine. Right? Now, you have something you want to bring out, Cap? No, no, no. You good. Keep let's, going. Let's pull, this, um, let's pull that next uh, video up that I wanted. I think it was. Let me look. Oh, yeah. Pull up um, the uh, music industry video that I had. Let me see. Uh, it was a TikTok video. It was very short. It was only like a minute or so. Uh, it's, it's... Okay, I just posted. I posted it early. You see that? It said part two coming tomorrow. Yeah, pull that TikTok video up because I want to I branch out from how these things have to do with... Um, into the music industry as well, which is something big and influential in the black community. Yeah, the phone lines are open. Pause it real quick. Pause it. Uh, you can pull us back up. You can call in. Somebody else is supposed to call in, I thought. Yeah. Um, 
call in. If you got some insight about this, you want to let us know you was a part of this at one time, you want to spill the beans, by all means, do so. Call in. The number's at the bottom. Pull us up so they can see the number. Pull us all the way up so they can see the number at the bottom. Yeah, that's the number right there. All right? That's the number into the Zoom ID. All right? Call in right there uh, via phone line. We want to hear from you. Let us know when we get that caller. We got somebody calling in already? All right, well, let us know. We got, we're supposed to have somebody call in. I think one of the officers is going to call in in a moment. So be on the lookout, Bredrin. Let's pull up that video while he calling, while we waiting on that. Go ahead. I'll bring up this subject. You know what it is. There's a theory that yeah. um, <laughs> a lot of rappers, they, they get signed, especially nowadays. These labels, they crunch the numbers. They figure out what works, what brings them money, what does it. Rappers getting locked up mm -hmm. and rappers dying on two of the biggest money promotions makers. as yeah. far as money makers Correct. for labels. Now, I've spoken to a lot of independent artists. Shout out to Source Walker. One of the things that he told me when I said, yo, he said, yo, Jay, Jay been trying to sign me. I'm like, yo, why wouldn't you sign? He said, because I don't want a label playing with my life. Mm-hmm. That's facts. That's that's real. That means nah. playing with okay because because I'm gonna expose. That means playing with your butt. If anything happens to me after I bring up the subject, oh my god! I said one hundred. That means playing with your butt. In other words, that's going into that homosexual facet that comes behind this Freemasonry, this Illuminati, and all these various things. My mic off. That goes into the Freemate. This this is he said that. He don't want a label playing with his life. The brother said, look, I'm going to keep it 100. That means play with your butt. They Damn. got these homosexual agendas that come from these secret rights, these secret societies, these revelings, all these various different things. You think they just going to initiate a black man and give him this type of power without having something over him? Because nah. we all talk about what happened with Bill Cosby, right? Uh, was Bill Cosby a Mason? Pull that preacher up. Was Bill Cosby involved in masonry? Let's see. Pull it up for me. Pull that picture up I showed you earlier. Oh, yeah. Bill Cosby Damn. was a mason or Damn. is a mason. So they hold stuff over these men. Right. These men ever get too big for their shorts? That's what they say. You get too big for your, for your britches? <laughs> you understand? You ever think you can speak against us or try to buy NBC, Negro? To try to give a positive black image? No. Hey, that's where that saying comes from, uh, these hills have eyes. Ooh. Talking about those California hills and those parties they be having. They be recording all that stuff. Right. And you can, look, you can, you, if you, I don't know if y'all remember, but at one point, uh, Soldier Boy. Yes. They say they, um, they found Soldier Boy. He was inside an abandoned house and he took off running. And then he made like a post on Instagram or Facebook, whatever was hot at the time. Then they all got taken down and like nothing ever happened out of it, right? You think about uh, it was a performer. His name was Houston, mm. right? And he was in the music industry and he didn't want to be in it no more. So one day he took a knife and he stabbed himself in the eye just so he can get out of that industry, right? Letting you know, hey, look, he instead of him saying like if he would have been like, if I don't do it, they're going to expose me. Right. So let me just stab myself in the eye. That's going to be better than get exposed to all the wickedness that they made me do. Damn. Go ahead. Damn. Hey, Cap, you remember uh, with their group, uh, what's the group name? Uh, Bone Thugs and Harmony. Yes. With, 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 with Lazy Bone. He didn't even want to speak about what, what was going on in the music industry because, you know, he, he, something could happen to him. He was afraid to speak about it. Hey, Martin Lawrence. Yeah. In the street. They yep. trying to kill me. They trying to kill me. Right? He said, it's that. When, when he was in the hospital, he said, it's the best sleep I ever had in my life. Right. So we know all this stuff going on. Dave Chappelle talk about it a lot. Yep. You know, but it's kind of funny that he back in the limelight again. Who knows? Mm -hmm. You know, well, hey, but these hills got eyes and these record companies, they be playing with your life. All right. They be yeah. definitely playing with your butt. Damn. Ooh, Let's read that oh real quick. God. Because we saw when all that stuff came out about Bill Cosby. Everybody was, you know, we was all shocked. I mean, I know I was. I was like, no, I mean, he probably he probably if he was a fornicator. I'm pretty sure he probably was an adultery. He was having women on the side. But for him to rape someone and put pills or uh, drugs in their drink? Huh? 
<laughs> that kind of scene off the wall. I, I would think that Bill Cosby wouldn't have had to do that during the 70s and, and 80s. And to have right. six, was it like 60 women come right. up all at the same right, time? It's right. like, it sounds like it's orchestrated. Right. It's not like a setup, you know, but we too, our people so blinded by their own sins, we can't really see what's really going on. Read that for me. Make history. Make history. What do all these great men have in common? They are members of the world's oldest fraternity and giants of their generation. Masonry teaches brotherly love, relief, and truth. So this is a, you know that the, the way that this is worded, this is a form of recruitment. This is what Cap brought out in uh, 2 Maccabees chapter 4 and Daniel chapter 1. How they use this for recruitment. See that? See, these, all these men are a part of this great, and they're giants of their generation. Masonry teaches brotherly love, relief, and truth. So you're like, yeah, they do. But they don't tell you how you get to that point to where you're a giant. Now ride this goat, nigga. Right. <laughs> Take a sharp left turn, nigga. <laughs> Walk around this thing four times, nigga. Damn. Go ahead. We currently have open enrollment for membership. Wow. True workers, lodge number seven. True workers, lodge number seven. So all these men, so look at these men. Bill Cosby, Julian Bond, Jesse Jackson. Isn't Jesse Jackson a past? I thought, wait. I thought he was a pastor. Damn. Mm. Damn. Hey, you remember what we was reading? Hey, pull that up real quick for me. I think I pulled it up kind of late. Um, it was going into the ritual, some of the things they had to do, like when you was first initiated. Uh, give me a moment. I got it right here. Me and Austin Zariah was reading it yesterday. Give me a second. Uh, it might be number, it ain't number five. Got all these things. I ain't even pulled nothing. I ain't showed nothing that I had. Uh, My bad. No, no, no. It's okay. This is how it goes. It's, it's the flow. It's the flow. You know where it's at? Um, it goes. What's the name of that book? Lester. Look Lester's look to the east. That's the that's the ritual book, right? Also, right? Yes, sir. That's their ritual book. It's called Lester's look to the east. I think that's Start right. at page twenty. This it right here. It's, it's the it's the ceremonies of initiation. Uh, uh I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna resend it because it ain't there. Uh, G. Did that caller ever come in? No, sir. All right. Yeah, pull that up. Let's just look to the east. Yeah, it's saying the Zoom meeting hasn't started yet. It said the Zoom meeting hadn't started yet. You might have started the Zoom meeting for them to be able to call in. You know what it is. What was that? Is that a new sound bite? Is, you know what it is, though. <laughs> that a new sound bite? No, sir! <laughs> <laughs> that was some video then, huh? Uh, yeah, let's go to uh, page 20, Secret Ceremonies. And it says, look at it, it says, look to the east. You read about that in the book of uh, Ezekiel. Our forefathers were doing that thing, bro. Same thing. Yeah, look that up. Um, go to page 20 for me. You can do that off the... Okay, never mind. You're on it now. Go to page 20, zoom in so I can see the page. Let me see where I want to start. So it says ceremonies of initiation into masonry, right? This is the beginning. Zoom in. It won't let you zoom? Okay, you, okay. All right, let's go over to ceremonies of initiation. Um, all right, read that real quick. So the WM is, uh, what was that again? Worshipful master. The Worshipful Master. That's WM. So Worshipful Master does this. Go ahead. Ceremonies of initiation. Worshipful Master, Brother Stewards, you will repair, you will repair to the preparation room where you will find a candidate in waiting whom you will duly prepare for the first degree of masonry. Before the stewards leave the lodge room, they step to the altar and make the proper sign. There's an altar there. An altar is a place of worship. Bring it up. Go ahead. Leaving the altar on their right, they proceed to the preparation room. All right, go down. After the candidate has responded to the usual questions and has been properly prepared for initiation by the stewards, he is conducted to the door and requested to give three distinct no's. No, three, three distinct no's. no's three distinct no's, like um, knocks, those knocks on the door. So he got to do three distinct knocks on the door before he let in. This stuff all demonic, man. Damn. Rituals and all that crap. Go ahead. Uh, rising and making signs. There is an alarm at the door of the preparation room. Worshipful master, attend to the alarm. The senior deacon, leaving the altar on his right. They got a senior deacon. Go ahead. Goes to the door and answers the alarm by three similar knocks. 
The door is then partially open. So he, <laughs> man, go ahead. Senior Deacon, who comes here? You know he out there. You know who the hell there. <laughs> you knew that nigga was coming that day. They get on my nerve. They crap, man. This old ritual, ritualistic <laughs> crap. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm getting mad. I'm acting like I'm there. <laughs> nigga, you know it's me. You know I'll come in three weeks. Bruh. Go ahead. <laughs> candidate, it is. Oh, excuse me. Senior Deacon to candidate, is it of your own free will and accord? Candidate, it is. Senior Deacon. Now you you missed the part where it's the steward. Who comes here? Oh, I'm sorry. It's who comes right. here? Steward, a poor blind candidate who is desirous of being brought from darkness to light. So that's what they call it, being brought from darkness to light. Go ahead. And receiving a part of the rights, lights, and benefits of this worshipful lodge erected to God and dedicated to the Holy Saints John. What? I, I'm sorry, go ahead. As many a brother and fellow has done before him. So it says, oh, they want to be a part of the benefits of this worshipful lodge erected to God. What God? We read earlier that they don't have a true deity, that you just have to believe in some type of supreme being. Go ahead. Senior Deacon to candidate. Is it of your own free will and accord? Candidate, it is. Senior Deacon to steward. Is he duly and truly prepared? You can pull us down. Steward, he is. Can you scroll up? Yeah, scroll up. There's another part I wanted in there. Go down. Senior Deacon. No, go down, go down. I want, I want, it's another part I wanted for page 21. Uh, you on 22, go back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go down. I want to show you something that I saw yesterday, and I was like, this is some BS. Go down. Keep going. Keep going. Go on to 22. You go to 22 now. What is dial up? What is it? They ain't moving slow here. What is AOL dial up? <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. Oh my God. He got to do the little, the little, the little boy. Come on. <laughs> go, go. Where, where is it at? Officer that I said I want it. Is this it right here? It might be, uh, it was a ritual. It was something that they had to do once they came before the worshipful master. Rent 22? All right, let's zoom in. Uh, Yes, my friend, that's it. Worshipful master to the candidate. So the candidate gets brought before the worshipful master. Zoom in on 22. And it says, go up. It says, worshipful master to candidate. It said, my friend. Yes, sir. Worshipful master to candidate. My friend, no man should ever enter upon any great and important undertaking without first invoking the blessing of deity. See that? You hear this, don't you? Mm. There's a deity that has to invoke. <laughs> that has to be invoked to bless you for you to be able to be a part of something great and important. That's what this is saying. To be a part of Freemasonry, you have to be invoked, to, or you have to invoke the blessing of a deity. Meaning you have to be a, get the blessing from a god. Hey. What god? Hey, that Wait. sounds just like uh, those sororities and fraternities, a, a part of the Divine Nine. Bring they up. all have to uh, pray and vow in front of an altar. They'll, they'll say they don't have to do it. They'll try and say, well, not here. We didn't have to do that. Mm. Yes, they definitely have to do that. Wow. Go ahead. You will be conducted to the center of the lodge and caused to kneel and attend prayer. <laughs> the master calls up the lodge by three raps. Wait, I'm sorry. This, this, we can't just die. We just can't just. You will be conducted to the center of the lodge and caused to kneel and attend prayer. You have to pray to this deity. Now, I thought that it was just some supreme being. We, as long as we believe in some type of supreme being, it has nothing to do with religion. But we're reading right here that you have to pray to an idol. You have to pray to a god in order to be able to have the blessing to be a part of this particular organization. And it's to a certain one. Right. Hey, can I get a scripture? Yes, please. Go to John 4, 22. Read up. I love bringing this scripture out when it comes to stuff like this. John mm -hmm. chapter 4, verse 22. Because we, we think we know something. But we don't. Bring Read that. The book of John, chapter 4 and verse 22. Bring it up. Ye worship, ye know not what. Our people get involved in these things, and they don't know what they're worshiping. Right. They think that they, I'm, I'm just helping out, you know, I'm helping my community. I'm doing good stuff for the kids, things like that. Read it one more time. Ye worship, ye know not what. They say, oh, no, you can still be a Baptist. You can still be a Pentecostal. You still can be in Kojic. All these different things. It don't matter. You just got to believe in a supreme being or, in a, or a, a creator of all things. 
Our people don't know grand what they architect. worship. The what? The grand architect. That's what the G. Yep. They say the the G stand for the grand architect. Our people don't know what they worship, Read. We know what we worship. But see, we know what we worship. Right. We That's know what we right. worship. We read this Bible. We see all these wicked things that keep going on over and over again. Like, that's our people. That's our people. That happened to Daniel. That happened to Wisdom of Solomon. That happened mm -hmm. to Maccabees. We see it over again. We know what we worship. Read. For salvation is of the Jews. It's not salvation ain't of the Freemasons, Masons, not the Baptists, not right. Christianity, not none of those things. You have to come back as one of the lost sheep of the house of Israel, keeping the commandments, and that's where you're going to get salvation. That's the only way. Only way. Hey, I'm glad you brought that out. We're going to show you what you worship. Give me that in Luke chapter 4, verse 6. Yes, sir. Start at 5. This is what you worship. Because it said, in order for you to be able to receive uh, uh, grant, what is the word I'm looking for? To be granted an opportunity to be a part of this organization, you must pray to this particular deity. You must follow all these specific rituals, and you must do it exactly like it is written, right? Exactly like they tell you to do it. The Bible tells us, the Bible's going to tell us right here who also gave that same type of, um, what's the word? That same type of rundown of how you're supposed to worship and how you're going to be granted in, uh, blessings by this particular deity. Let's see what it's talking about. Give me that real quick in Luke, chapter 4, of, verse 5. Yes, sir. The book of Luke, chapter 4, and verse 5. Yeah. And the devil taking him up into a high mountain mm. and showed unto him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. So the devil's tempting Christ as he's fasting. It says, and the devil taking him up into a high mountain showed unto him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. He showed Christ all the kingdoms. Go ahead. And the devil said unto him, Read. All this power will I give thee. He said, look, I'll give you all this power. If you, if you, I will bless you to be a part of this thing. Go ahead. And the glory of them, mm. for that is delivered unto me, and to whomsoever I will, I give it. I give it to whom, whomsoever I will. Go ahead. If thou therefore wilt worship me. You hear this? If you worship me. Go ahead. All shall be thine. All shall be thine. You, that's what they tell in Freemasons. They saying, bro, look, you can come be a part of an outstanding organization. You can be a part of a brotherhood. We'll look out for you. We'll help you. You'll be blessed. You can have positions of power. You can lead your people. Don't you want to lead your people? That, I'm sure that's what they told the Bill Cosby's of the world. I'm sure that's what they told the Jesse Jackson's of the world. You will be influential in your community. Right. Just follow what we're telling you. Follow these specific guidelines. It's the same thing we read that the devil came and tempted Christ with. Go ahead. Verse 8, and Jesus answered and said unto him, Get thee behind me, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God. And him only shalt thou serve. You hear that? Because you're worshiping another God when you go into these specific things. You're worshiping a deity. You may not know, like Cap just brought out, you don't know what you're worshiping. You're thinking, oh, man, no, I'm still a Christian. Matter of fact, I'm a pastor. I preach the Lord Jesus Christ, but yet you go into that lodge two times a week, three times a week, make the specific knocks, take the specific turns to get to these specific areas in the lodge. You got to go before the worshipful master, before the altar, and kneel to him. Don't forget about that goat. Don't forget about riding that white goat. Damn. Hey, Cap. Goat rider. Damn. You, you go ahead. Now, nah, let me finish this real quick, and then you can go ahead. Verse 8 again. Verse 8, and Jesus answered and said unto him. So Christ had enough wisdom and understanding to say, you know what? This idolatry right here, this wicked as hell right here, that ain't what the Father gave me in his commandments to do to worship you, Satan. You understand? To get this power. Christ, I already knew where his power came from. Go ahead. Get thee behind me, Satan. He said, get behind me, Satan. This is what you're supposed to tell the Masonic lies now. This is what you're supposed to tell your brothers and sisters that's still involved in Freemason. Now you're supposed to say, look, I ain't with that no more. Get thee behind me, Satan. I'm moving on to the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm moving on to the Most High God of Israel. Because we the Israelites according to the Bible. That's Go ahead. right. For it is written, thou shalt worship the Lord thy God. Uh-huh. And him only shalt thou serve. He said, I'm only going to serve the Most High God. That's what Jesus Christ said. There's your advice right there. If you worried about how I'm going to get out of this, brother, I'm initiated deep in it. Christ telling you, tell them people. I'm going to worship the most high God. That's right. When they tell you, hey, look, why are you leaving? Look, I found something better for me. I'm an Israelite according to the Bible. This is what I'm a part of. I want to do better. I ain't with the Freemasons no more. Oh, so to join Israel United in Christ, you can't be a Freemason. That's right. For you Negroes that say, oh, well, y'all you, you, Freemasons. 
Uh, Stop being a damn no fool. fool. Dummies. Hey, go ahead, officer. You had something? Go ahead. Yes, sir. Just to go with what you were saying about the, uh, uh, Luke 4. Because they, Alba Pike knew who y'all was worshiping. Jake mm. don't. But go real quick, Officer Malachi. If y'all could pull up. I pulled, posted something earlier. So, um, you see it says, Morals and Dogma. Pike Alba, Morals and Dogma. If you could go up to it. I just want to look at page one. The very first thing that, that pull up when you click it. I need to resend it so it can be at the bottom. All right, let me send it real, re forward it real quick. All right, click, go to that. Oh yeah, the album pipe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put it up. Put it up. Because he it knew up. he knew something that Jake don't know. Jake think he worshiping the Lord. This is from Albert Pike's book, Morals and Dogma. Right? Scroll, zoom in, because you see a picture up under there. The the book, go down, scroll down. Before we read that, this is the book. And what we have in the PDF is what's contained in the book, right? Now scroll up to what, uh, the first thing Alpha Pike wanted you to notice. Go on, uh, go back up to the very top. Read that in that square. Yes, sir. Lucifer, the light bearer. Strange and mysterious name given to the spirit of darkness. Lucifer, the son of the morning. Is it he who bears the light? And with its splendors, intolerable, blinds, feeble, sensual, or selfish souls. Doubt it not. But when Masons say they, when you come to them, you join them, you get the light. This who you worshiping. That Lucifer that bring that, that particular so-called light that they talking about. Mm. So this is what you Damn. into, Jake. This is what you into, so-called black man, African-American man. You think this gives you some type of prominence in order to get that prominence or that those benefits in the world, you got to worship this. Damn, so you in sin, brother. Straight up. <laughs> so didn't Cap bring out a scripture in 2 Corinthians about how Satan would come as an angel of light? Damn. Now, Lucifer, the way that they're interpreting it is wrong. But I see what they're doing. They saying devil worship. Lucifer, according to the scripture, is also obviously Babylon the Great, this so-called white man. But in the, in the same context, he's still the one behind Freemasonry. So I can see how it can correlate. It's a matter of evil. Did we ever get that call to call in? You never called in? No? Okay. All praises. Hey, so you can't get in? Okay. Well, hey, let's, dri let's, let's drop Freemasonry real quick since we got about eight minutes. I said check YouTube. Oh, I did. I saw y'all posted the what's name, the pen, but they didn't, they didn't nobody catch on to it. It was something I wanted to pull real quick. Uh, pull that video up that I pulled. I mean, that I said I wanted to go first. It was a Facebook video. I said, this got to go first. Let me see. So Freemasonry is destroyed. Y'all understand that. But y'all got to see this video. It's so funny. Is that the one I wanted? I said, pull this up first. You know what I'm talking about? You got it? With the Edomite? <laughs> yeah, pull this up. This is just something funny. Pull it up, bro. So she probably take they all fat. She probably take a picture of them of the moment of when he proposed. Oh, <laughs> damn! He done proposed. She said yes. The fat girl done missed everything on camera. <laughs> all right, do it again, y'all. I missed it. Oh, oh! <laughs> Hey, Damn. you had one job, bro. All you had to do was balance your big <laughs> and take the damn picture. She couldn't even do that right. So I just wanted to show that. I'm sorry. I know some of y'all may be like, why he show that? We just smashed Freemasonry. That's why. And we stalling for time. Okay? Hey, pull up the video of TikTok of the Edomite trying to explain Matthew this chapter 19, thing. verse 16. Watch how Esau butchered his scripture. It's amazing that they keep trying to read our Bible. You got that? Or you need me to pull it up again? Did you know in the Bible? Yeah, yeah, show that. Watch this. He saw the devil, man. I just want to show this. Watch this. Watch how he butchered. There was a man who comes to Jesus and asks him, how do I get to heaven? And Jesus gives him his response. Listen to this response. It might shock you where he says this in Matthew 19, 16. And behold, a man came up to him saying, teacher, what good deed must I do to have eternal life? And he said to him, why do you ask me about what is good? There is only one who is good. 
If you would enter life, keep the commandments. Wait. He said to him, which ones? Which ones should I keep? And Jesus said, you shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness. Honor your father and mother. And I can turn the page here. I hate when they lick their And you shall love your neighbor as yourself. The young man said to him, all of these I've kept. What do I still lack? Pause it. Now, he, you notice he read right through that real quick. Right. They always do that. Christ just told this man to keep the law. Right. Keep God's commandments into eternal life. Now, watch the mischief. Watch this. Keep reading. I mean, keep playing it. Watch this. Jesus said to him, if you would be perfect, go, sell what you possess, and give it to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven, and come and follow me. When the young man heard this, he went away sorrowful, for he had many great possessions. You see, the problem with the question in the first place and the, the answer Jesus is trying to give him, because this might confuse you. You might be like, wait, I've got to do all these good things to enter eternal life, but not at all. Pause. Look at what he said. What? Didn't Jesus just huh? say keep the damn command? You see what I'm saying? Oh, my God. This is why these people make me sick. They can't. We can't let these people keep teaching the Bible. We got to go out and teach on every street corner in America and That's all over right. the world. This man got a following. This man got millions of followers on TikTok, bro. And he just sat there and read what Christ said, keep the commandments. Then he's going to say, no, not at all. You see what I'm saying? They have, put, they have put themselves above Christ. They have put themselves before Jesus, man. You can finish it. I was just, oh, my God. He said, teacher, what deed must I do to enter eternal life? What deed must I do? And Jesus gives him a list of impossible tasks. Pause. The Ten Commandments and then says... So it's impossible to love your neighbor as yourself. Damn. It's impossible to not commit adultery. What? It's impossible to keep the Sabbath day. <laughs> it's impossible to not murder. What the hell is this? Because that's all the things. That's all I, don't, the th <laughs> I don't even be knowing what to say when people come with that. But you can't keep all those commandments. Like, what do you mean you can't do it? You just can't. Have you killed anybody? Well, not yet. Damn, <laughs> you're a murderer. Not, not yet. <laughs> Damn. Hey, them people crazy as hell. Them people crazy, man. Hey, don't listen to liars, bro. Go ahead. You had something. Hey, I was just going to say, uh, yeah, as far as Esau, he can't keep the commandment. He done broke every single one in, every the, law Bible, in the Bible. Every law in the Bible. It's, it's not even in his spirit to keep the commandments. Damn. That's right. Uh, but just to make sure that none of our brothers and sisters are deceived, give me that real quick. What Christ said that he didn't come to do away with the law Bring and up. that until the heaven and earth pass, you still got to keep the law. Even though he just said in Matthew 16, we got to make sure because we know we got Christians that watch us and they may have watched all that thing and say, yeah, I'm leaving Freemasonry. They saw that Edomite at the end and say, you know what? I'm staying. <laughs> watch it. Read Matthew 5. Yes, and the, just read verse uh, 17 through 19. Just read it straight. Through. The book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 17. Bring it up. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. Uh -huh. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. Uh -huh. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments and shall teach men so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. But who, whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. So whosoever shall do and teach them shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. You got to do and teach God's commandments to That's enter into right. the kingdom of heaven. You understand that? That's what the Bible says. So don't let be deceived by Edom or Freemasons or anybody else. All right? All praise to the Most High. So, hey, with that, that's another edition of Escaping the Plantation 2.0. <laughs> Hey, man, listen, that was a good show, man. That Sir. was fire right there. Holy Ghost, fire, 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 fire. fire. <laughs> we, need that. Say, you, we need that sound know. bite. We need that, we need that <laughs> sound bite. He don't know no better. <laughs> he ain't been with it. He looking at it like, what the heck? <laughs> but all praise, we want to thank our special guest, Captain Yadin. All hey, praise for the most high. Hey, look, I'm very happy to be here. Have a good time. <laughs> we enjoyed you, Cap, man. Great input. I'm Captain Gedaliah. This is Captain Yadin. Yes, to, sir. To, to, to my left, we got... I was at Niger. To my right. So, yeah, you to the left, you over him. Go ahead, do your thing. I be forgetting. Oh, I was to the right. To my far right. I was a Hosanna. And to my far left. Soldier John. Go ahead and read that while you're up there, soldier. Yes, sir. To help the prophets of the Most High spread this truth to the four corners of the earth, you can send funds on PayPal to the Booster Club mm -hmm. at iuic.fundraising at israelunite.org. 
to help escaping the plantation, help our people further escape the plantation, you can send donations to IUIC.JacksonMS at IsraelUnite.org, all on PayPal. All praises to the Most High. So I hope y'all got some out of the episode today, the Bible versus Freemasonry and the Masonic Temple. If you're involved in that thing, brothers and sisters, come out, repent, and keep the commandments of God. With that, we say shalom, <laughs> Most High Christ bless. They thought we was done. They thought we was finished. Right. Uh huh. Flip it, switch your spirits, hydraulic. Push your button, cuts, get it popping. Jump start your heart, yeah, shocking. Yes, Thunder light at seven lamps, hot as the sun. Read it and run, Isaiah said it best. Better say it with your chest. Ain't no sleep to send your rest. Now they won't contest. Skip your steps, precept upon precept. Hey, make it plain for the sheep. Hey, ride till the wheels fall off. This remind me of my chief. Yeah, carnal weapons, they ain't welcome here. The vision clear, ain't no Belvedere. Talk about to take a shot of water, purple rain, flame for your ear. I'm hot. <laughs> Rainbow in the dark. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Chick. What's up? What happened?